just then. <laughs> Event time. Cool. So I've been like skipping through the story just so I can like get the levels right because I've been playing or I've been wanted to play this game uh, on stream. All right, not there. So we're trying to ride I the Wuwa wave, that. but now we're back. So we're gonna look at the story because I think it's voiced. So that's gonna be sick. Come and on, also, only characters. It's gonna go crazy. Go there? From the beginning, I guess, right? Let's see. The winning squad this year is none other than seven, seven, seven. No way. What did they win though? Let's hear a few words from Blanc on seven, seven, seven's behalf. Okay. Hello, everyone. Big shout out to all my fellow competitors for making this tournament such a blast. We had an amazing time and hope you did as well. It's so crazy that this is a push one. Voice actor. Always Actress. fast and good fortune. Pretty good. Magnifique. And for the winners of this year's competition, I will be presenting them with the golden ship. Emblazon with my visage! Wow! Thank you, boss! I'm sure okay. you're all familiar with the rules, no? Only one squad can hold this chip at any given time. Those who possess it will be able to demand a request from more, which I will grant. So, you absolutely must keep it safe, Monsieur Blanc! I will! I wonder... Is there anyone out there who can put a stop to a 777 Victor streak? We will be back in one year's time! With more fun in Dissertation! Girls! As always, I eagerly await your dazzling improvements with the passage of time. <laughs> and with that, <laughs> well, who, who is this voice actor? Right? I never actually like golden try to look into. Has come to an end. Cool. I'm Mustang, Tetraline CEO. And all yes, you are. Now, Entertainment. Well done, Mustang. Wow. Everyone really gets into this whole shindig. So does voice actor actress. I ended up watching the entire thing without even realizing it. <laughs> Hog. Indeed. It appears to be quite enjoyable. Wait, that's AIDS voice actress. I didn't know I was expecting that. <laughs> no. uh, to be honest, I haven't used the AIDS. I haven't heard many voice lines. sure to check out next year's event that'd be great nice so is that what's happening we're going to the next year yeah Bonjour, my lovely girls it's that time of year again it's none other than the tetra golden ship showdown <sighs> Jesus Christ, where the skin is crazy. It's like. Of course I'm fine. Just wait and see. I'm saying, what's that pink thing down there? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's, that's crazy. No doubt about it. That's all I'm saying. Oh, is that the next one? Yeah, okay. Cool. So you just can roll through them. About two weeks before. Oh, I see. So we're getting the context for what Soda looks like that. Soda. Huh? Oh, it's you, Soda. Good 
Good morning. Oh, welcome, Soda. As What's you happening? can see, our morning is anything but good so far. Huh? Why? What's wrong? Now that Soda is here, I'll get straight to it. Made for you. Isn't seriously hot water. What? Not hot water. Why? What happened? We've been stretching ourselves awfully thin these past few months to hold various events. But as you may already be aware, the Maid Cafe's clientele still remains the same. As a result, okay. our profit margins have gone down. And we don't yeah. have enough capital to continue operating the cafe. We scrounged up every last credit we could get from my piggy bank and aid secret stash. But we'll aid secret stash? barely make it through to next <clears throat> month. What? But then... What do we do now? Are we going to have to close the cafe? But her voice actually sounds familiar. Getting a loan as so a last resort, but mm, I'm not sure. This can't be. I, I can check if I've got any money saved up. At that moment, Coco Aid and Soda's phones all go off at the same time. We all got a notification at once. I'd say it's probably from our group chat. Let's see. Oh my! Not the group it's chat. Not from our group chat, but Tetra lines. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> hmm. A notification for the Tetra Golden Chip event? It's that time already. Uh, we were rather busy last year. And so, participating didn't quite cross our minds. All we did was spectate. Unlucky. Hold on. This is it. The light bulb. We should it's flickering. This year. Yes. If we win, boss will grant us one wish. We can ask for some financial support for the cafe. Do you think that's feasible? Considering we've been against 777, <clears throat> who's renowned for their unbroken string of victories. That may be, but we're professional maids. We'll be able to beat them easily, especially in things like origami folding, which I'm really good at. That's right. Besides, it's not like we have anything to lose. If we don't win, then at least we tried. Does Coco sound like she's Who knows? We could end up like a miracle. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> She's about to snap any second. I suppose uh, that is indeed the case. Hmm. Okay. Shall we give this notification a proper once over? Okay, let's go over the rules for participating first. Teams must consist of three members. One team leader and two other members. Yes. Teams can only consist of Mikes from Tetraline. Yeah. Teams do not have to consist solely of members from a single squad. But in the event such a team wins, the team leader will receive the golden chip. Interesting. However, okay. One thing of note is that only one member of any given squad can be a team leader. Mm -hmm. That's all. Hmm. I'm not sure I quite follow that last point. Let me try to put it another way. Let's say I form a team with two Nikes from another squad and appoint myself as the team leader. You and Coco may join other teams as members, but you can't take on the team leader role. Ah, I oh, get it I see. I didn't get that either. This way, <laughs> I, I do get it. Yeah. I completely missed that. My Coco was saying Isn't it. Isn't it simpler to form teams with members in the same squad? In theory, yes. But there are some squads with less than three members. True. Moreover, forming teams with other squad members can potentially give you a strategic advantage. 
However, someone can pretend to be an ally, only to obstruct our efforts for their own squad. This, oh, I mean, right. true, but like, God, that's there crazy. There are loads of strategies that can be implemented. In our case, though, we're pretty fortunate. Since we have exactly three members. Kokoa could be the leader, while Aid and I will round out the team. Um... Oh, furtive glances. Sona? Yes. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be possible for all of us to be on the same team. Huh? Why not? One of us has to stay here to run the cafe. <clears throat> True. According to this notification, participants must stay at Coin Rush for a few days. We can't leave the cafe unattended for that long. Oh, you're right. Keeping Unlucky. the maid cafe open takes top priority. Well, since you're the head maid, Kokoa, I guess we don't have a choice. Aid and I will have to do our best without you. The only question is, who should we ask to join us? Uh, hmm. Forgive me, Soda. But I believe it is incumbent upon me to remain and assist in managing the cafe. Huh? You too? If yeah, so you can like one cook, person right? handle a three-person job, there's no way things will run smoothly. If Coco tends to the customers and cooks the food, I should be able to manage the rest, but just barely. However, the prospect of obtaining the golden chip remains slim. And we can't afford to jeopardize the cafe for such an uncertain outcome. So... So you're going. That means... You can represent Maid for you! In the Tetra Golden Chip So event, that's why there's Zona. the other bunny girls, I see. What? Like from the Battle Pass and stuff. Me? By myself? You won't be going it alone. You'll be with two other teammates. But I don't have any other friends. Oh, yeah. You, <laughs> you have to say it like that. that we had nothing Jeez. to lose by giving it a try. That's rough. Didn't you? Y yeah, I did, but... We're sorry to dump all this into your lap. If it's all too overwhelming, you don't have to do it. Uh, it's place that must be protected. So that's to create a miracle. She will. Okay. I'll do what I can. <laughs> really? Honestly, Soda, you don't have to force yourself into this if you don't want to. No, I want to. I... I want to do my part in protecting this place. I guess I've like, so I just noticed so those gloves have like the strap to like tighten sure around her arm. It's kind of weird. Her, her hand, wrist. <laughs> Soda. It's a weird design. You're the best, Soda. You're truly a professional maid. I'm so proud of you. That's right. We'll do our best on our end here as well. As for the rest, I'll leave it in your capable hands. Cool. Good no fear, you guys. I've got this in the bag. I talked to Big Game back there. <laughs> but what in the world should I do now? Let me guess, are you going to contact the commander to help you out? Yet another long day. Bro, commander, stop complaining, bro. This guy's changed so much. More tumultuous at the outpost than usual. But they weren't. I'm sure there's nothing to get too worried about. I should wash up and get ready for bed. Nope. Hello? I hear Finn knocking on the door. Who is it? Uh, master, uh, are you sleeping? Is that you, Soda? Yes, it's me. Is it okay if I come in for a bit? Of course. Sorry to disturb you so late. 
she walks in. So it looks significantly more haggard than usual. Okay. Mm, actually, Master. So that feels been on everything that's happened up until this point. Looking towards the princess representing made for you at that big Tetra Line event. And you need to search for two team members. Yeah. I've been wandering around all day. But everyone has already formed their teams. Or they're not interested in participating. So I'm having a hard time finding teammates. <sighs> so I wanted to ask. Yeah. Um perhaps you would be interested in joining my team? Can I? Yeah. Right here in the fine print. It says, one team member can consist of an individual of one's choosing. I guess Coco and Aid didn't catch that bit. Okay. Ooh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I can't find enough team members. The maid cafe is done for. Coco and Aid are counting on me. Things really that bad? They are these events have put us in the red big time with things as they big are, time we can continue to operate the cafe for a month max as soon as a squad won't be easy but i can't stand idly by and let the main cafe disappear uh, no we cannot i know this is a big ask and i don't want to force your hand i was just wondering if you could possibly help so that yeah. And as of this moment, because you're a teammate. Oh my gosh! Really? Oh my gosh! So they were going to keep cafe uh, up and running. Thank you, master. I'll really, really give it my all. I promise. I'll clean the commander's room right now. Mm. And give you a whole bunch of coupons for the maid cafe as well. Mm. Oh, he said, yeah? Isn't she gonna, like, be clumsy and all that? Anyway, who, who should we pick for our last team member? It's a bit of a last-minute plan. But I was planning on hanging out in front of Coin Rush tomorrow. That's what I was going to do if you had said no. What's the rationale behind the that? The registration starts tomorrow. So I figured some people who were curious or had an interest in the competition might show up. If you don't have anyone particular in mind, why don't we head over to Coin Rush tomorrow and see who we can recruit? Sure. Great! I'll see you there tomorrow. Alright, I'll be right back. Huh? I've got to go get my cleaning tools. Oh, don't no. Don't worry, I'll be quiet and leave once I'm done cleaning. Wait. Wait, so that way... Otherwise, Sonic comes back with her arms full of cleaning supplies. Once the commander's room is cleaned to her satisfaction, she heads back to her dorm, leaving my room sparkling and immaculate. Really? Oh, she didn't like mess it up. That's crazy. Okay. The next day. As Soda predicted, Corn Rush is filled with Nikes who have come to register for the event, as well as curious spectators. There are even some customers who intended to play some games at Coin Rush, but found themselves unable to do so due to the preparations for the event. Oh my goodness! But also Look slow. I literally had to slow down my reading. That's crazy. It's enough to make you dizzy. They were trouble to start. Me neither. Sh shall we head in? Let's do it. Start to push our way through the crowd and head inside. But. Oops, sorry. It's okay. Huh? High roller. God. Bruh, suit trousers of woman are crazy. God. It's been a while. So I was I'm saying. wondering when I was going to see you next. No particular reason why that is, but yeah. Hmm. To be honest, though, this isn't really the best timing. We're accepting applications for a big event from today. 
So it's busier than usual. Yeah, are we supposed to know who if Rogue is? Play some games, Rouge. Might have to Rouge? wait a few days. Rouge. Actually, I thought I have come to participate in the event. Really? Yes. Oh, I see. You two must have read the fine print on the notification. Yes. Oh dear. The bunnies are going to be so green with envy. <laughs> what do you mean? Nothing. Wait, At I, any rate, did you know much to get soda is to be the three members? Leader? Yes. Have you signed up yet? Um, not yet. We've not found our third team member yet. Yeah. That might be tough. The reason we changed the roles on team formations was to dissuade the same members from forming the usual teams. Mm. Which has always resulted in the same winners year after year. However, it doesn't appear to have changed as much as I hoped. You might have better luck looking for someone who initially didn't intend to participate. However, they might inherently lack the drive to be in a competition like this. Oh my gosh! Gravity! Oh, oh yeah, Alice, that's right. Um, who? Someone diminutive suddenly ass slams into me from me off balance. Alice. Hey! I was told I might find you here. Turns out By who? it's true. What? Alice, you're still here. Mm-hmm. Thanks for your help before, by the way. Although I didn't end up finding the black or white rabbit, I did find Rabbity. So what's the piece that was going on? Hmm. I found her poking around here, despite the fact she was getting pushed around by the crowd. So Yikes. I asked what she was looking for. She told me she was looking for two rabbits. A black one and a white one, to be precise. I was told I'd be able to find them if I came here. I figured she was referring to Blanc and Noir. But they would never show their faces in such a crowded situation like this. So I turned her away since there was no chance she'd see them today. Therefore, I'm not entirely sure what she's still doing here. <laughs> the point's waiting in the arc, Alice. She needed something, so I tagged along. She's okay. all taking care of something on her own, so I was just looking okay. around. Speaking of, now that I got to fill my rabbit quota, I should probably head back to the queen. <laughs> rabbit quota. <laughs> Alice. Yes, Rabbity? Join. Are you still interested in meeting the white and black rabbit? <laughs> you bet I am! Hell yeah. I'd love to meet them more than anything! You don't say. Now we can move me and Soda here and play a game. A game? Yes. Hold on. Master, don't tell me. Anika from Tet Tetra was her own clear objective. But has no desire for the golden chip itself. Alice fits the bill perfectly. I, I'd be honored. Not only do I get to meet the white and black buddies, I get to play a game as well. <laughs> that sounds like a blast. Oh, yep. Right. I do have to get back to the queen, though. Wait just a moment. I take out my phone. Oh. <laughs> We're asking mom. If she can stay out a little bit longer. <laughs> no, I can share for a second. What is it? Can I borrow Alice for a few days? <laughs> what for? It was in an event at CoinRush. Ah. Into the Tetra Line Nikkei's event. I don't have interest in such an animal. I agree with you, but the bunny girls are involved. With bunnies, you say? That makes more sense. Well, since you are sure that you know what you're doing, I hope you can show Alice a good time. But of course. Very well then. I just got permission from Ludmilla. Oh, really? Yes. What did you just call me? Twinkling Bunny? She's twinkling? She's so resplendent. Right. Well, I guess that <laughs> resplendent. <hair> is fitting. <laughs> uh, that was the word Hearing I was looking I'm for. I'm all about making my surroundings sparkly clean. I really appreciate you saying that. I think we're going to get along just fine, you and I. I think so, too. Hmm. I'm glad to see that you've got yourself a complete team. 
Let me take you to the registration desk. Bro, how am I part of this event? Follow That's me, crazy. Poor <laughs> uh, commander. Thanks a bunch, Rouge. Rouge. You made the process a real cinch. Don't mention it. Just don't forget to bring that rabbit-shaped badge you received when you registered. Yes. Understood. So, what kind of game are you playing here anyway? Rouge. Sorry, but we can't reveal that until the day of the event. Okay. Well, I guess it won't be as easy to get extra hints like last time. Last time? What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Oh, I remember now. Are you talking about Noir and Blanc's lucky kiss? Unfortunately, since actually competing ourselves this time, we can't help you. However, mm. you know our greatest strength better than anyone else. Mm. That I do. That's right. Luck. If you could somehow find a way to turn that luck in your favor, it could become quite a close game, don't you think? We will win. Good luck to you all. Then. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Should we head back, Master? Thanks. <laughs> but Rush has kind of like a nice, like Master? ASMR type voice. I don't know. Rabbity? So as Rouge says, we're up against 7-7 seven seven squad. There's luck on their side. Luck, however, is ultimately rel re relative. In which case, let's go. Okay. We will win. Let's go turn luck on our side. Huh? What do you mean by that? No reason. Right You'll see. Trust me, I have a plan. <laughs> I should have figured. I'm just I am the commander. You got your this is our lucky color this oh I, that it's a wonderfully subtle and soft shade of green <laughs> i get it think? i get it yes, uh, so this pretty. is the baddest commander uh, master our commander knows what's is up this what you had in mind? yes that's right don't tell me your entire plan is just i should let you know <laughs> that we have a special offer on these lucky bracelets if you buy Wait. two You'll get a 10% discount. But just the bracelets. Holy nah. moly. Holy They're moly. more expensive than I thought they'd be. I'll pay. Huh? Surprise, it wasn't the bunny suits. I thought it was going to be the bunny suits. I a message from an unfamiliar number. No. Oh. Congratulations. You received a lucky letter. Send it to your friends within the next four days before it expires. Don't worry about that. It's just spam. <laughs> I am for it already now. Huh? Oh no, Commander's a boomer, bro. so many people on this Well, like... He's become oh, like a... You're right. Oh my god. This place is packed. Wow. It's an exhibition that you can only see once a year. What a coincidence. What is that voice? Right. I'm sure that's a girl doing a guy's I'm glad voice. I took a day off today. Yeah, lucky us. I'll take a photo and upload it to my socials. The line doesn't seem to be moving, though. Please can't lie, Nuzzle. Hurry. Uh, okay. Uh, Let's go, Alice. Okay. I don't think she makes that noise. Uh. My goodness, the sun has already set. I'm not sure what that was all about, but it sure was fun. <laughs> no, there's just one place left okay. to visit. I'm game with everyone else. Uh, Commander just playing around too much, man. Next up, the cosplay. Okay, huh? now we're not playing. Now nah, we're Play not store? playing. Now nah, we're right. not playing. Let's go. Let's go. Necessarily have any objections to wearing this, but do you really think it'll be useful? Yes, we will win. And actually, I'm not really sure if my plan is going to work out. I mean, just copying Noir and Blank style and obsessing over every bit of luck related stuff doesn't guarantee we'll improve our luck. 
But then again, it's hard to wrap my head around why Noir and Blanc always seem to have the best luck. Where did those come from? Does it look good on me? You look so adorable. Yes. That was the word, the adjective. Is it? You're not done yet, Twinkling Bunny. I'm coming out now. It's a bit of a struggle since it's a few sizes too small. <laughs> what do you think? Do I look okay? Oh my god. This game is good. Are they wearing a spandex like suit or chain? I think we've done all the preparations we can think oh, for now. Yeah. <laughs> this is the commander enough. is a Master cultured. Alice. Let's say. I want to thank you both. It's only because of you that I was able to participate in this event. Whatever the outcome is, I'll. Stop right there. Uh -huh. Our goal is to win. I don't want to hear a word about me happy with anything less. So, winning yeah, so I'm like Genshin mentality, mentality. In that case, I'll do my best. Yes. If we work together, we'll be able to do this no problem. <sighs> You're right. With you two by my side, I can do this. I've got to keep my head held high. For the sake of the Maid Cafe. And to make you both proud. First place is going to be mine. Let's do this. I like the hair all, all over the place. That, that's some good shit. After some time. The day of the Tetra Golden Chip showdown arrives. Whoa. I thought there were already tons of folks when we signed up. That was nothing compared to this crowd. No kidding. For real. Lots of people are coming to watch the competition. Where are we supposed to go? Hey, you guys. Over here. Oh, hey, Rouge. Wagwan. I go for the crowd. Who's standing to Rouge? Who's standing in front of the security checkpoint? You can enter from this side. Only participants are allowed inside. Do we just go in? Do you have the rabbit-shaped badge you received when you registered as a participant? If you do, yeah. then yes. So long as you wear that, none of you will have any problems entering. Alright, I'll go in first! Yahoo! Oh, that's what the rabbit thing is, I see. God, why does it look like that, though? Thanks, Rouge. Don't mention it. Have fun out there. I see that's what it is. Cool. Definitely doesn't look like Phew. another pink. It's a relief that only participants are allowed inside. Small device. Yeah. That you may find around your waist area. That's crazy. Slowly glance around my surroundings and spot a few familiar faces sitting nearby. Looks like just about everyone's participating. Whoa, crazy. Check I'm checking. The golden, chip. golden ship. And space is pushed in front of the stage. There's a golden chip minted with Mustang's face on the front. Holy crap, it's the actual coin! Holy if we moly! We can get our hands on that. We can save the maid cafe from going under. Yes. So hmm. Not if. We Where will do you win. think the black and white bunnies are? I want to meet them ASAP! Where will come out from the center stage? Oh, really? I'm so excited! What about you, Twinkling Bunny? I'm right there with you. I'm excited.
excited and nervous all at the same time. <sighs> yeah, so there's more actions than eager. So I'm out for uh, a few words when suddenly click. The lights go out. Full spawning music begins to play. Boom, boom, boom. Lights on the central stage burst into life, probing in sync with the music. And the main spotlight is a familiar figure. Bonjour, my lovely girls! And a warm welcome and here to he is. all those who have come to see the spectacle! Say, entertain mode! Woo! Yay! Most time. Mm, we're back again for another year of fun and games! Mm, that's right. It's the one and only Tetra Golden Chip Showdown! <laughs> this time around, we've gone all out and prepared special air room for all participants! So, oh. everyone, be my guest! Feast! Revel and frolic to your heart's content at Coin Rush. It's getting real now. Wow! Oh, what yeah. a presentation! Do, do, do. The first game will commence tonight. Until then, take the time to get to know everyone around you. And familiar say yourself of that coin rush. Feel free to quench your thirst with some of our delicious beverages as well. Yeah, so that's what I do such right French then. words. Until I, I don't return. know. I mean, Enjoy maybe, your but. Time and always remember. Oh, this is Mustang is the best kind of name. Ah, my eyes. The line returns to normal. Mustang is nowhere to be seen. Boss always knows how to make an entrance. For real? Uh, I didn't get to see either of the bunnies. My chill, man. I'm sure you'll be able to see them in the evening when the game starts. You think so? Of course. Alright. Then I'll have to be patient, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of which, we have quite a bit of free time on our oh, hands. Right. What should we do until the game begins? Hmm. At a glance, I noticed Tanetum and Prima Donna on the first floor. A protocol and Cafe Sweetie have gone up to the second floor. It might be a good idea to go to one of the floors and chat with them. Let's check out the second floor. The second this is your first time at Corn Rush, yeah. isn't it? It's massive. And all these flashing lights make it hard to figure out where to start. Flashing lights? These lights may be dazzling, but they don't hold a candle to you! <laughs> oh, my. wow! Thank you for saying that! <laughs> That's a compliment. God. I don't have to write that on a notebook. Okay. We can talk to some of the other naked. Dig up some juicy details about the other teams. That's a good idea. Oh, so I get to wander around and explore with you guys? Yippee! I'm so happy! We can also keep an eye out for the black and white bunnies at the same time. Can we really? Ah, this is so exciting! <laughs> Let's head upstairs. By the corner rush, second floor. The games are on drinks are not located. Although we have a fair bit of time, we don't have quite enough to explore both areas properly. Let's check out the game zone first, since it's a closer. Since it's closer. So there are also gaming consoles neatly arranged. In the midst of all, a large table stands its expanse, filled with an array of gaming paraphernalia. Wow. wow. This must be where everyone comes for their gaming fix. Yes. Too sure, but it definitely looks interesting. Next time, I should come here with Queen. 
Oh, that would not be the best idea considering her situation with electronics. True. I think I see someone gaming. She must be Who's a gaming? participant as well, right? Show her to me. Off in the corner. I see a familiar figure. Having a passionate gaming session. Ixia? Hmm? Oh, I'd she's... recognize that voice anywhere. Hey there, newbie. Watson? Hey. It's Novo? you! Kai, you started with me. Novo had been crouching on the ground, out of sight. Suddenly he leaps up and stares at me. Well, well. Look who decided to pop up out of nowhere. This is a most interesting turn of events. This calls for... My powers of deduction! Okay. The fact that Watson is here means... He must be participating in the upcoming event. But that can't be possible, since he's neither a part of Tetra nor a Nikkei. Therefore, the only conclusion is that Watson has trespassed into this area. I chilled, man. What do you I think haven't... of my deduction, Exia? It is precisely as I expected. Now's not the time for games, but for gathering intel on the other teams. I'm afraid you're off base. You can have a team member who is neither affiliated with Tetra nor a Nikkei. Huh? Is that so? Very this is well, our best detective. Considering these new clues, I can only deduce that these three before me are on the same team. What Crazy. What say you, Exia? Well... I think you're pointing out the obvious at this point. <laughs> you can at least try to guess who the team leader is. I suppose <laughs> Exia is like humoring her. <laughs> Alright then. Novel leans are facing close to Alice and so that... Hmm. Wow. hmm. <laughs> uh, I wonder. I've got it. Happy. Soda has a puzzled expression on her face. Yeah. While Alice appears more at ease. Okay. Therefore, I conclude that Alice is the team leader. What say you? Um. Oh dear. Did I guess incorrectly? <laughs> oh, the fading guys. Anyway, what are you two doing there? As you can see, we are playing a game. We were about to move around to gather information on the other teams. Hold up. Isn't it supposed to be one team leader and two additional members? Where's your third team member? You see, Exia? They're trying to gather intel on us. She is on the first floor. All the heat coming from the machines made her feel uncomfortable. Oh, I see. Oh, I wonder <laughs> who that is. Such Crazy. Information to them. What's the point of being so secretive about it? They'll see who she is when the match starts anyway. Oh, right. Then they must have come here to obtain other information from us. Why are you participating in the competition? All sorts of incidents are bound to happen at this kind of event. So, being a detective, I've come here to conduct a preliminary investigation of the crime scene to be. I'm right. here because I think games are fun. Gotcha! Well, we came here to win! Yeah! Ooh, amazing! I hope it works out for you! <laughs> Wait, does that mean you two don't care about winning? Novel and I aren't particularly bothered about it. But our team leader on the first floor probably cares a great deal. She practically begged us to join her. Ah, she's the team leader, I see. If they're both team members, then the team leader must be from another squad. Who could it be? Gravity! Really? Huh? What happened? Can no. Uh, it's time to run a long time, so moving on might be a good idea. Sure. Are you going to explore other areas? If you happen to see anything suspicious, be sure to let me know. Now I'm good. Will do. Good luck to you, Exia. And good luck to you too with your investigation novel.
I have to live in the game zone wherever the drink zone. Inside there are various drinks and an array of opulent glasses. And the chairs have been set up so that you can sit down and comfortably enjoy your drink. To this note, each participant can enjoy a glass. And the drink is supposed to be sweet and sour. Sounds delicious! Let's try it! Mmm, it's lovely! <laughs> so sour! I'm salivating! <laughs> Seems a bit too sour for your taste, Alice. You can also Order whatever drink you'd like from the bar over there. I'm sure there's something there Alice would be a fan of. Not familiar silhouettes from afar. As we get closer, I realize who it is I'm looking at. Cafe Sweetie? Hmm. Only one person would address us with such a sweet voice. God. <laughs> Why are you reading so much? What? Shit. How? God. <laughs> Here. Hey, tired. That was like Rizzo of no god dang. So you put this money as well. This could be an excellent opportunity to give Black Typhoon a new makeover. What are you talking about? We already agreed <laughs> that we'd make a sparring arena inside the cafe. Oh no. No, king sized bed. Oh gosh, here we go again. Me leader. You may be the squad leader, but I'm the team leader for this event. Huh? I thought I was the team leader. <sighs> Bummer. I'm leader. I can't with you two. Um, excuse me. What? What do you want? Um, can you tell me what you're drinking? It looks delicious. <laughs> Yeah, they don't look sour at all. They smell super sweet. Very nice. That's because... You have a good eye for quality. I'm drinking sugar coffee with just the right amount of sugar added. Right. Yeah. What are you talking about? They're clearly asking about the milk coffee that I'm drinking. The milk is what gives it that creamy smoothness. Cream coffee. Lots of cream. Sweet, smooth, the best. Uh, I, I think I'll try the cream coffee. Good choice. I'm a big fan of dairy, so I'll go for a milk coffee. <laughs> it's no sugar Very coffee. Smart. I like Here it. you are. Hmm. Uh, I think I'll try the I sugar coffee. Impeccable taste. Yeah, okay. partner. As a voice, sickeningly, sickeningly way, sweet. Are you teamed up with these two? No. Is How so? why would you say that? The thrill of competition where men and women go head to head in close quarters. How exciting. Well, huh? I have no intention of pulling any punches. So this competition will be done fair and square. The three of you will well, have to bring your sounds familiar. Huh? Okay. We'll win anyway. Win after all. Exactly. Very nice. I like your determination. You must be the team leader. Um, actually, I'm the team leader. Oh, really? Then you yeah. have to be more confident. You can't be shriveling in the corner like that. Er, okay. <laughs> uh, they first appear quite chaotic. They are highly proficient at problem solving and thinking on their feet. Also, soda appears more deflated than usual, so we have to stay on our toes. How about we went back to the first floor? Oh, sure, I suppose. Sounds good! Are you all heading back down? Yeah, thanks for the coffee. If I drink from the same cup that you took a sip from, would that be considered as indirect kissing? I can would you chillax. shut your yap? 
Anyway, <laughs> see you all later. As we wrap up our initial exploration of Coin Rush, we head back to the main hall on the first floor. Okay. Huh? Oh, yeah, of course. Coin Rush sure seems like a fun and exciting place. And so big. Thanks for accompanying me, you guys. I had fun too. I'm still a bit bummed that I didn't get to see the black and white bunnies. I thought for sure we'd run into one of them. Uh... Hold on. I think I see bunny ears in front of the stage over there. Do you think it might be them? Huh? Where? Oh my gosh, you're right! It's them! Breaks it to a run. Well, Alice is thinking that Blanca and Ormas have arrived. Huh? Much to my surprise. Folkwang and Mary are dressed up as bunnies. Okay. Let's go. Oh. Oh, Mary? Hi, Coach. Hmm? Commander, are you participating in the competition too? It's going to ask you the same thing. No, I'm here as a member of the medical staff. We don't want anyone getting injured after all. What kind of guys are going to be playing? <laughs> I'm not sure. As for me, I'm participating. Epinel and Rumani aren't terribly interested in this kind of thing, so I asked Protocol to join me. <sighs> I want to win this thing so I can ask for a portable air conditioner. Ugh, it's like a sauna in here. I see. My goodness. So many people have shown up. Wowzer! Slippery Bunny and Doctor Bunny. Slippery Bunny. When did you two become rabbits? Yeah. Eh? You mean the clothes? Oh, it's so sweltering in here that I was drenched in sweat just moments after arriving. So I went to ask if they could turn on the AC. Instead, they recommended that I wear this outfit. Mm. This outfit is designed for Blanc and Noir to beat the heat. Since they always perform under scorching stage lights. They're definitely way cooler than what I was wearing before, I'll tell you that much. I guess there's nothing I can do about this heat, though. As for me, I just wore it to brighten the mood. I think it's the perfect outfit for someone working at Coin Rush. What do you think? Does it look good on me? It's crazy. Well, uh, with the tie highs. So many rabbits everywhere. Come to think of it, you two are wearing the same outfit too. Oh yes, that's right. Master gave us these outfits because they're bestowed with good luck. You look great. Anyway, I would like to emphasize once more the importance of safety to everyone. Whatever game you end up playing, be safe and don't get yourself hurt out there. We've set up a temporary infirmary inside, so if you feel unwell or out of sorts, just head over there. Oh, is this like Farina's voice actress? So, Soda, you're the team leader, right? That's right. I know I may not look it, but I am. <laughs> All right. Give it your all, everyone. I'll be cheering you all on. Anyway, it seems like it's about to start soon, so I'll head inside. See you later! <sighs> if Mary said the competition is about to start, then that means... All of us are towards the stage in unison. As Aaron is taken to the stage, though we don't know when he got there. Hello again! Free time is up now! Did everyone make good use of your time? Next, I would like everyone to gather in the main hall! 
scatter participants will slowly start taking their seats in front of the stage. Now, before we start the game, allow me to present there the winners from last year. This is seven, seven, seven. No, squad. Alex is gonna explode. Come on out, my lucky girls. Click. The lights go out, and in their place, a lone spotlight illuminates the stage, shining on Roche, Blanca, Noir, who have been there for who knows Hello. when. I'm the lucky bunny Blanc. And I'm the lucky bunny. Noir. Hello, I'm your game master. Rouge. Allow me to explain the rules of this golden ship showdown. Hmm? The games we have prepared will be played by all the teams, all exception of 777. The <laughs> games will be conducted in an elimination tournament. This will continue until only one team is left. At which point, they will have the honor of challenging the 777. <laughs> Those are some crazy rules, I'm not gonna lie. The final game remains a mystery to everyone, even those in 777. The team leader of whichever group wins the final game will be given the key. Attends, what's all this talk about a key all of a sudden? I can already hear the questions formulating in your minds. Mm, so let me explain. As you can all see, there is a display with the golden ship in front of the principal stage. The key which can open this display okay. is the very same key which will be bestowed upon the winner. Makes sense. Ah, I get it. Whoever receives that key will be able to open the display and claim the golden chip. Which team will have the honor of challenging us? Only time will tell. We'll, we'll be waiting for you and cheering you all on. We wish you all the best of luck. Oh, it's them. It's really them. If we win, we get to see them up close, right? Yes. <laughs> Alice is the Let's best. Do our best. Everyone. Let's do this. And with that, Madames and Messieurs, let the games come at sound. Okay. First up, we have. Notable section of our team whispers prepare for all the other teams due to the unexpected game. I thought it would be a game that might require some thinking, but that's not the case at all. Are we going to have a race? Sounds like fun! Since this is the premiere game, we've prepared something light as a warm up. Each member of the team will run a lap around the main hall with the baton before passing it to their next teammate. The first team to finish wins. And this should go without saying, but the slowest team is disqualified. <laughs> As for which team <laughs> you will be facing, you may check the tournament bracket here. Boss, I have a question. I already know what it will be, and no. 
You're not authorized to ride Black Typhoon during the race. <laughs> also, wouldn't the kids be faster than me? So like. Oh. I have a question as well. Didn't you say this is an obstacle course? Where are the obstacles? Mmm, unbell question indeed. Mmm, I'm going to show you right now. Okay. It's from the ceiling, okay. Cool. Well, what is this? Wowzer! This is way more epic than I thought it'd be. Epic. How fascinating! I shouldn't mention that if you collide with or stumble over a hurdle, say on elimination instant 10. Everybody understand? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> then please decide on the order in which your team will run. I'll give you five minutes. Hmm. What order do you think we should run in, Master? Check the brackets. Ultimate cover in front of the tournament bracket. Ah, oh, darn. We got a buy? Too bad. I was looking forward to running. That's fine with me. It would have been meaningless to run without Black Typhoon. She's just sleeping anyway. That's why I have to compete. Then what about us? We're up against Talentum. It won't be easy. It doesn't seem like running would be Talentum's forte. We can't let our guard down. Let's decide right. on the order. Okay. Oh, me! I'm a huge fan of running. And since I'm in full on rabbit mode today, I feel like I can have it around. Uh, I'm not really confident when it comes to running. Let's go to Alice first. For what's I'll take up the rear. That is may end up making a mistake before we do. True. Me running last is a sound strategy. Okay. easy about all this but we don't have any other choice with the web alice as our lead runner hey rookie did you see the bracket this is what stretching before the race begins and approaches us yeah so we're going head to head right at the very beginning oh boy so you're who we're going up against that's great yeah. so why is she wearing Which order are you running in, Alice? Me? I'm going up first. Aw, oh, darn. It would have been nice if we could have run against each other. I decided to run last. Then you'll be running against me. Really? This is crazy. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> okay. Your five minutes are up. We will now proceed here in order according to the bracket. As time has passed and the other teams are done with their races, it's finally our turn. All right. Please stand on the starting line. I think when the positions on the starting line, you've got this. Bring it home, Alice. Ready? Almost a signal. The obstacle race begins. But 
This thing is so long. What the fuck? God damn. Let's go play her lap and it's heading in my direction. Let's spend a button after which I just have to take a slow and steady. Phew. I'd grab my racing card. And I'll just near extend my hand and report to see the button. Hang in there, so that. Oh no. Just then, Soda's hand gives out and a grip on the baton loosens. On the baton, I stop and reach back behind me. Wait, what? Oh no. Hey! Game over! Ouch! Master! Rupee! <laughs> My god. Jesus Christ. Hold on. A little bit of research. Are you okay? <laughs> uh, I vaguely sense something hit my arm before I fell. Oh my goodness! You're not hurt, are you, sweetie? I don't think so. Well, that's a relief. Hold on. Since we both fell, who won? I almost forgot. Don't worry, Lupins. I know I must have given you quite a scare just now. But I'm Why perfectly fine, so though? don't worry. <laughs> if anything, rather than being injured, I'm more afraid of being scolded by Dala and Jan. Hey, you left you while running. Of course I was. My fans want to see me run. Unfortunately, yeah. I took a tumble as soon as Jan gave me the baton. So I didn't get to show them much. <sighs> <sighs> what did you say? Who wanted to see what? Uh-huh. You were really booking it out there, Jan. You bet I was. Unfortunately, due to a certain someone, it didn't amount to much of anything. Uh... <laughs> so what's the result? Why don't you get up and see for yourself? Uh, well... Master, take my hand! Thanks. So now before turning to Mustang. Sucky Bill! We have two players who have fallen at once! It happened in the blink of an eye! Fortunately, we were able to review the replay instantaneously thanks to the cameras we've set up. Okay, and who fell first? Care to explain to the people, Rouge? Certainly. We've installed cameras to film and repurpose your performances into a coin rush game. The application covered this, so we won't be fielding any questions about it. That's the first I've heard of this. Let's summarize what occurred. First, Soda lost her grip on the baton. Eve. Commander then turned around in order to grab the baton, thus colliding with the selfie stick that Rupee was holding. At that exact moment, Rupee tripped on the hurdle, which caused both of them to fall. So that was it. Our final verdict is thus. As the selfie stick is what? First made contact with the hurdle. Rupee's team is disqualified. <laughs> wow! 
Yay. We oh. Won! oh boy. I'm in big trouble. <sighs> well, she really showed up for two seconds, pulled that pose, and then didn't want to elaborate further. That's crazy. And with that, our first game as Termine! The eliminate team may choose to stay, inspectate, or leave the area. Before the second game starts tomorrow, you all have some free time to enjoy. I should also mention that this obstacle course has been reconstructed in the game zone on the second floor, where it can be replayed at your leisure. We hope you find it intriguing. I hope you all have an exceptional night at Coin Rush. <laughs> and tell them all. Boom, boom, boom. Must have descends into the depths beneath the stage. That was a close call. I were able to make it through the first game. For real. Wait, where was I? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I just want to see, like. Apologizing to him is all well and good, Ruby. But don't you have anything to say to us? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know this would happen. <sighs> What's done is done. I'm just glad no one got hurt. I'm leaving you to calculate the damages caused by this incident. We hardly expected to be eliminated in the first round. Aren't you being a bit harsh? None of this would have happened if you just agreed to film me. We were running in the race as well. Why would I have had time to film you? Let's move on from this. Don't piss me off any more than you already have. <laughs> this wasn't a solo competition, but a team effort, Rupee. Running out there with a selfie stick was beyond foolish. You're right. I sure you could have like, set it up somewhere, right? Oh, no. The three of you can discuss this elsewhere. Commander, would you come over here for a moment? No. Yes. Huh. I'll come along too. Me too. No, I'll back in a minute. Don't worry. Alrighty. Uh, okay. Please be careful. I leave Alice and Soda behind. Follow Mary to the infirmary. And on the first day, A. No. Please take off your shirt. Sorry? You had quite a fall out there. So I presume you must still be in a fair bit of pain. <sighs> oh. Pokes my left shoulder, sending bolts of sharp pain to shoot through my arm. I'm sure you felt that, right? Now take off your shirt so I can check your injuries. I want to make sure there aren't any underlying issues. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. I don't see any major damage. Just a moment. I can use a poke and pro that around my shoulder area. Hmm. There does seem to be a minor muscle injury from the impact. It shouldn't pose a problem for daily activities, but you should avoid anything strenuous, or they might aggravate the injury. As your doctor, my recommendation is that you bow out of the game here. 
No. Not <laughs> pretending. You'd say that. Very well. Then promise me one thing. That you won't push yourself too hard. I promise. Make you a pretty keep promise. Your promise. Yikes. For now, I'll wrap you with the pressure bandage to mitigate the pain. No, I don't want this, sir. <laughs> Is it because you're afraid Soda and Alice might get worried seeing you like that? That's why you insisted on coming to see me on your own. Fine. I'll wrap it so that it won't be obvious to the naked eye. It might end up getting worse if I don't address it at all. Are the other games similar to the one with just <laughs> I don't know. Why is that just laughing? <laughs> but the fact that they felt it was necessary for me to be here should tell you something. Just a moment. Let me see. Oh, the commander's line. And the upcoming smile leans in close to wrap a bandage around my shoulder and chest. I don't know where to direct my case on. <laughs> After she never this, I brought out the first thing that comes to mind. Are those clothes uncomfortable? Uh, oh, you mean this bunny costume? <laughs> it's not uncomfortable by any means, but it does feel a bit plain. In plain? In fact, I find it quite comfortable since there's not much material to get in the way. I'm even considering wearing this back at the hospital, since a kid like Alice is also such a fan of it. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. But this is free, now, right? That should do the trick with your bandage. God. I've wrapped them quite thinly. Free so being spicy, be that's crazy. God this damn. goes without saying, but you should refrain from using your left shoulder too much. Right. You've got to keep your promise not to overexert yourself. I'm gonna have to look that up. If you this is for Navi's for Navi's VA. Discomfort, be sure to see me straight away. Yeah, well, thanks. Why sure back on? Then head out of the infirmary. Well, I step out of the infirmary. Lana is rushed towards me. Is everything okay, Master? No. Why did Mary call you over? So suddenly, you're not injured, are you? What? Gravity's hurt? Where? Are you in a lot of pain? I meant to make sure I was okay. I'm perfectly fine. <sighs> That's a relief. Um, I'm sorry, Master. It's all my fault. None of this would have happened if I'd held on to the baton. How is your fault? is right. If the blame should be pinned She's on like, anyone, like faded it in. should be me. <laughs> hey, Golden Bunny! Hi, Alice. I heard you were sent to the infirmary. Are you sure you're okay? Positive. Okay, good. I just got back from getting chewed out by Dala and Yan. I didn't consider how dangerous it would be carrying around that selfie stick during the race. So... I want to apologize to you all once again. So head to it's us. Okay. On that note, I've decided to remain here and cheer you all on. Thanks. Yep. I'm sure, because you want to live stream. Aw, be nice. Sure, it's true that continuing to stream is important. But honestly, I think it's way more fun to stay in here and cheer for a team. Don't you agree? However, sure. that means you all have to win first place for me, okay? Uh... Yep. You betcha! Don't worry, we've got this in the bag! <laughs> I like your confidence. Why are you so intent on winning? So that I can see the black and white bunnies! I want to get a photo together with them! All right, then. You all have got to win so that Alice gets her precious group photo. And Soda can get what she wants as well. I'll be on the sidelines, cheering you all on. Good luck! Thanks! Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you! Yeah, 
yeah, supportive rupee will be all us going forward. We'll feel instilled with an overwhelming confidence and the fact we've acquired another ally after oh, dinner. Man, I'm stuffed. The food was simply scrumptious. <laughs> scrumptious. Know, right? I've never eaten such a luxurious meal. Very much Mustang style. May have had to our assigned accommodations. Let's see. Our room is over here. Oh my! What a pretty room! The bed is massive! Are we all supposed to sleep in it together? You're right. There's only mm. Huh? One bed? Hold up. Around the room, but to no avail. We have no oversized bed in front of us. The area is bereft of other places to sleep. Ooh, and it's so soft. Come and lie down, you guys. Uh, uh, that's okay. I actually prefer sleeping on the floor. <laughs> nah, you take the bed. Absolutely not. I can't let you sleep on the floor. Huh? Both of you are gonna sleep on the floor? Why? There's more than enough space on the bed. Hmm. Alright then. I'll take the floor too. I wanna sleep with you guys. Huh? Uh, don't you think it'll be a little strange for all of us to be sleeping on the floor when there's a big bed right in front of us? Why don't we all just share the bed then? Hey, is it an option? In that case, let's all sleep on the bed. Yahoo! I want to sleep in the middle. Then squeeze it nice and tight between you two. Sure, that's a great idea. I thought we were taking a shower and lay down on the bed to sleep. As I'm feeling glad I'm not right next to Soda. My left shoulder still feels a bit stiff. Okay, tomorrow isn't as physical. Slowly, I drift off to sleep. Okay. The next morning. I can do the feeling of warm sunlight on my face as I've been. Uh, and of the hair. And trepidation up on my eyes. Alice's face dangerously close to mine. Morning. <laughs> Did you sleep well? Are you both up? Good morning. Good morning, Twinkling Bunny. Are you ready? Yeah, I woke up earlier and have been tidying up. The place was so clean that there wasn't much to do. But I figured that a day had passed and some dust might have gathered. Whoa. This place is sparkling clean! While I was cleaning, I made a promise to myself. I'm not going to make mistakes during the competition. That's fantastic! I'll make the same promise to myself as well. We'll do our All best. Right. Let's Everyone. Do this. Get ready, went out to the main hall. Oh, everyone's already here. I think we may be the last ones. <laughs> yeah, they should have messing around. When we arrived on time, all the other teams have already arrived and are warming up. Huh? I see Rouge over there as well. It looks like she is speaking with some people. Do you think something is going on? Ooh, the white and black bunny's friend. Do you think they'll be over there? Let's go check it out! Okay! Head over to where Rouge is. We see her speaking to milk and sugar. It's been a bit of pickle. There really no other way? Hmm... Some the matter? Hey, pal. Well... Freema withdrew from the competition. 
<laughs> okay. Really? Yeah. She said Coin Rush has lots of good nap spots. So she decided to sleep instead of participating in the competition. Yeah, I knew it. No wonder she was so cooperative on the first day. It'd be a shame for the team to withdraw. So, we were discussing if there was any way we could stay in the game. It's not like we were disqualified, so we'd hate to have to bow out now. According to the rules, if a player drops out or is injured, they can be replaced by someone else. However, you'd have to find a replacement before the second game begins. Seriously? This entire area is filled with other participants. So how are we supposed to find a new team member that quickly? That's not true! There's someone here who isn't involved in the competition. What? Who? Dr. Bunny! True. Come again? Oh, you mean Mary. Hmm... I don't see any problem with that on our end. At any rate, the most important thing is whether she's willing to do it. Selena looks towards the infirmary. Where Mary's standing in front Seems of. Seems like you're discussing something interesting. So, what do you think, Mary? Hmm. Well, I don't really have much to do while the games are underway. Also, if someone were to sustain an injury out there, I'd be in a better position to help them straight away. I'm no athlete, though. I'm afraid I'd only end up dragging you all down. It's okay. We'll be disqualified without you, so something is better than nothing. Exactly. Just participating in the first place will be doing us a huge solid. Really? Well, since you asked, I suppose I can join you. Yes, yes, thank you. If we win, so you'll good. be entitled to Freema's share of the winnings. <laughs> that voice just like is different, I don't know. Glad to have you on the team. <laughs> Thanks for having me. All right, we'll make it official. No then. problem. Mary will replace Freema. Bon. Thank you, Rouge. Where did you come from? <laughs> Unbeknownst to me, Mustang has already ascended the stage with a microphone in his hand. Bonjour, everyone! The change mode in team formations is also part of the charm of this event, as it opens up all sorts of possibilities! Now that it looks like you've terminated your discussion, let us move on to the second game. Indeed. Let's go! Smash Soda A. What do we have in store for you all this time? It's none other than the... Nikkei Whack-A-Mole! <laughs> Whack-A-Mole? Is that the one where you use a hammer to bonk moles that pop up? I think so. Uh, so what exactly is the Nikkei version of it? The moment, a large box starts to descend from the ceiling. So large holes are cut into the top. Oh, those are some big holes. I reckon Rabbity can crawl through them if he wants to. In this game, two teams will okay. take turns playing well, I guess offensive I could. mode or defensive mode. The leader of the offensive team will be given a hammer, while the members of the defending team will go into the box lintria. Wait, but I'm gonna die. <laughs> The moles in this game will be none other than yourselves. Hitting other team members will earn you points, while hitting anything else will cost you points. <laughs> the team with the inferior score at the end of the round will be eliminated. 
also. If you stay in one hole for too long or do not leave the game after being hit, that will also result in a point deduction for your team. Okay. Oh no. I'm the team leader. Does that mean I'm the one who has to hit them with the hammer? That's right. How am I supposed to do that? I know it's not a real hammer, but still, won't it hurt? Isn't there anyone else who can do this? I'm sorry, but the rules expressly forbid it. Oh, man. The first team to play will be... Team Soda and Team Milk. Soda, prepare to start working. As for the rest of you, get into the box. What? We're starting right now? Oh, you know, I said just start working. What? to cheer so down. Meanwhile, the members of the opposite team enter the box. Ready, set, go! Okay. I feel like she may harm someone so that can bring herself and the hammer with full force. As a result, she ends up missing most of the molds. There's not much time left! Will the game end with an unremarkable score? Oh man... Just then. Give me a second. She's the one saying that. <laughs> You've got a weapon! What? They're right, you know. Since I'm stuck, I won't be able to disappear down the hole. So if you give me a few good whacks, you'll be able to get a bunch of points. But won't I end up hurting you? Oh, don't worry about that. It's just a game, you know. You're not going to hurt me. Uh, I guess so, but still. Oh, jeez. Can you hurry up? I'm sorry. And he taps Mario in the head. The toy hammer. <laughs> so yeah, the sound of voice echoes through the arena. Okay, that concludes the game. <sighs> Team member maneuvered their way out of the claustrophobic box, drenching sweat. Sorry, everyone. I didn't plan on getting stuck. It's okay. None of us could have predicted that would happen. However... What? It's nothing. I'm assuming we got quite a few points deducted since you hung around that one hole for a while. Milk, oh. are you good with a hammer? You bet I am. I'll give it all I've got. I'm oh, like a pro, bonking us all on the head with a startling speed. Time's up. 
Hey, Cafe Sweetie has also finished the game. These results are plus interesting. The team which will be eliminated only lost by a single point. Oh no. We must be the ones who got eliminated. The nah. other team racked up a whole bunch of points. Whereas we hardly got any because of me. I'm sorry, everyone. No, so clearly never announced the results yet. I guess. Do you reckon that's how it's gonna go down? Milk? Well, regardless of the outcome, we did our best, and that's what counts. Let's just wait and see. It's with the heavy oh, heart. Milk's V8, he sounds familiar. The team which has been eliminated is. <sighs> None other than <laughs> Team Milk. <laughs> Despite the fact that Milk was admirably speedy with the hammer, unfortunately, the points deducted due to Mary getting stuck had an impact significant on the score. That's crazy. It's a shame, but it looks like it's game over for them. Oh my. Oh. And let's just proceed according to the predetermined bracket. That's what's going to divide it according to winners and losers. Cool. Okay. With that, a second game has come to an end. Those who have been eliminated are free to stay and spectate or leave the area. Our third game begins tomorrow. But until then, feel free to amuse yourself. And most importantly, don't forget to have a good time. And tell Crazy. Very much so. Yeah, true, it's all been luck so far, not gonna lie. Skin of our teeth. So that Strangely doesn't seem to feel about it. <sighs> not enough votes for some time. So that walks towards Milk and our team. I'm sorry, you guys. I got too excited, and ended up sticking my entire upper body out of the hole. It's alright. We appreciate that you did everything you could. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Then, I'll head back to the infirmary. Why don't we grab dinner together if you're still around later? Sure, let's do that. <laughs> Um... Yes? What is it? You... You all did great! Excuse me? What did you just say? I just wanted to say... That you all did a great job out there! Huh? Why are you coming over here to tell us that? It's just... I think it's a real shame that your team was eliminated after you all put in so much effort. If you feel so bad about it, why didn't you volunteer to get eliminated in our stead? I... <sighs> Settle down, Milk. You're getting a bit heated. <sighs> Fine. Since you came all the way over here, let me ask you something. Okay. Why are you participating in this event? Me? Well, the maid cafe isn't doing so well. Unless something changes, we'll most likely have to close down by next month. Seriously? <sighs> Considering the fact that your livelihood is about to close down, you sound awfully casual about it. To think we lost to someone like that. <sighs> Us being eliminated. 
isn't really that important. In fact, I'd say we did pretty darn good considering we had Mary as a last minute replacement. I'm perfectly happy with our performance. The only thing that frustrates me is that we lost by one measly point. And to some lily-livered sucker like you who isn't in it to win. <sighs> I want to win just as much as anyone here. I gave it my all out there. You gave it your all? Did you really? You didn't give that hammer a proper swing even once. That's because I thought I might hurt... You saw for yourself that it was a toy, and the other members were bonking people on the head with it. Do you think everyone bonking. else is a bunch of psychopaths who are okay with bashing each other's brains in? <sighs> and what about your team members? Did you ever think about them having to scurry around in that stuffy box? <sighs> your performance during this round was a disgrace. And I'm ashamed to have lost to someone like you. If you don't like what I'm saying or how I'm saying it, then I suggest you get out of my face. <laughs> so there was a sour look on her face. <sighs> Sorry about that. You came at a bad time. As you can see, Milk is in a rather foul mood. She gets pretty competitive sometimes. I apologize for her excessively harsh remarks. <laughs> As for me, I'd recommend you take some time out. And think about whether you're really giving this your all. And he gets up and follows milk. Yikes. Hey there, twinkling bunny! We're about to eat! Aren't you hungry? Hi, Alice. Actually, I'm a bit tired. I think I'll head to the room to rest. You two eat without me. Smash heads into the room. Hmm. She seems way different from before. Do you think she's okay? She'll be fine. Mm, okay. So I need some time alone. Then storm around corner rush and return to the room later. While well, she's crying or sitting on the ground all depressed. Ready or not, here we come! Huh? And I peer inside worriedly. I saw that. Howdy! Ah, you're back. I got bored after resting, so I decided to do some cleaning. It's all spick and span now. Turned my expectations. That seems positively effervescent. I think that word was. <laughs> you flatter me. Anyway, you two must be tired. Go ahead and wash up. <laughs> How was the dinner? Delicious! It would have been even better if you'd join us, Green Bunny. You're coming with us tomorrow, and I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Spell the word enthusiasm that says something isn't quite right. For challenge before asking her a question. Why'd you go for that twinkling bunny? Oh, that? Well, that's because she's not beaming like she was before. Hmm. Send her with the same smile she always has. But. What the fuck? Everything was so. Very just. I mean, smile to you. It's a single glance. Since you have vanished. What was that? That looked crazy. God. I don't know why they kind of learned from Honkai style to make like a an hour event or like story kind of thing. It was so long. Man, well, that was good. It happens in the story too. Here we are. The whole of the story too. I've been kind of waiting on this a little bit, uh, you know, being busy with other games. But now we're back. 
Well, let's start with third game A. Let's see what did they cook up now. As I wake up to my third morning Aquan Rush, I feel the warm sunlight on my face, the soft bed under my body, and a gentle, oh no, clang. Clanging. Clanging? With some apprehension, I open my eyes. Alice is lying beside me, sound asleep. There is a smile on her face as if she is dreaming of something pleasant. I can clearly hear the sound of something breaking. I get up and look around. And no time at all, find the culprit behind the mysterious noise. Oh, that, are you okay? Uh, huh? Oh, morning, master. I'm sorry. Okay. Did I wake you? I was just doing some cleaning. I tried to be as quiet as possible, but I accidentally broke a glass. <laughs> you didn't cut yourself, did you? No, I'm fine. It's probably nice. best you keep your distance, though. Just to be safe. I'll have this cleaned up in no time. So that could begin to sweep up the glass shards on the floor. Ah, ah, nothing like a good night's sleep. Morning, everyone. Morning, Alice. Did you sleep well? Good morning. Fantastic. In fact, I had a dream that our team came in first place. Cool. That does sound like a nice dream. Totally! It made me so happy! <laughs> Let's do everything we can to make it come true! You got it! Let's do it! You should join in too, Green Bunny! <sighs> oh, right. Sorry, just a moment. I'm almost done cleaning. Whoops! Oh no! Another mishap. Sorry. He's too stressed out, man. Real quick. Here, let me help. Uh, you sure? Someone creating an inauspicious start to the day. True. Next. As having breakfast, we head to the stage to check out the tournament bracket. Let's see. The team we'll be facing today is. A rather odd pairing with Folkwang as the leader and Exia Novel running out the team. Ooh. How are they winning? Slippery bunny. <laughs> yeah, Slippery <laughs> Bunny. Looking forward to that. <laughs> Me too. Slippery. <laughs> I can't wait to see her. Ah, uh, she's too precious, man. Are you excited to see me? Huh? Golden Bunny. Golden Bunny. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Oh my god, I just got flashback of that cutscene. Did cut you do your due diligence and prepare properly? We don't even know what the game will be. How will we prepare for that? Nevertheless, considering the nature of the past two games, it would be safe to assume that today's activity will be physical in nature. The first one was running, the Four. second involved hitting, yep. and so the third one... Hmm... Maybe it's something that requires agility? Maybe. Man, it's crazy. There we go, Amalie in a bunny, bunny suit. That's crazy. God. The monarch is different nowadays. <laughs> that actually sounds like solid reasoning. I thought so. <laughs> is there anything you're hoping for in particular? I'm to fine with win? anything. Yeah. The first two games were a total blast. If I had a choice, though, I'd prefer something that requires running. I am a rabbit after all, so I can run like the wind. <laughs> you don't say. What about you, Soda? Hmm. Soda? Hello? Huh? Hello? Oh, sorry. I I'm really stressing too much for no reason. Uh, I don't really mind what kind of game it is either. Really? So you enjoyed the other two games as well? No? Well, not exactly. Anyway, I'm sure the next game will be something along the lines of the first two. You think so? Anyway, yeah. me and all oh, the next mini game I forgot. Cheering you on. So you've got to win, okay? Yes. 
Golden Bunny. Is that the only reason you want us to win? <laughs> Was it that obvious? <laughs> Fine. To be honest, I made a bet with Yan and Dala. They're betting 777 is going to win. But my money is on you guys. Wow, those are really so you've gotta bad bring odds. It home. <laughs> All right, everyone. We're planning yeah, on starting the goat. this third game soon. If I could ask all let participants to come on up to this stage. Oh, it looks like it's about to start. Let's hurry over there. Okay. Okay. Learn to hold the hands and rush over this, to the stage. What about my hand? Hmm. Soda seems a bit despondent. Is she okay? Yeah, a little bit. I heard that she had some kind of confrontation with Milk yesterday. Not sure, I've never seen it like this before. Hmm. How about getting in touch with Aid and Coco? Even if she can't interact with them personally. Surely hearing Aid and Coco in the crowd cheering her on would make her feel better. So a suggestion. Not bad. Not a statement. I don't think it's a good idea for her to see either of those two. No, I don't think it's a good idea. Huh? Why not? Well, I'm confused as well. It'll tell her that it's okay to stop here. Uh, and Soda would take their advice? Yes, I want her to get this on her well, own. If that's what you think, then I guess there's not much we can do. I'm a bit worried, but as long as you're here, I think everything will be just fine. Anyway, everyone yes, seems Bando to be Commander. gathering over there, Giga so you Chad. should catch up to them. We now will goodbye to each other as I head towards the stage. Now, time to start streaming and watch the show. Nah, literally free content, that's crazy. Coin catching. Oh yes, coin catching. So the I remember that minigame. That was Maybe fun. On. Now that everyone is here, allow me to introduce the third game. It's raining coins! <laughs> Hallelujah. Raining coins? Huh? Huh? I was boiling glass up at the ceiling, but it's too dark to see anything. Very soon. Yeah, because you can see what they're dropping from. from above. Your objective is to catch as many as possible and put them into your basket. Mm -hmm. However, be aware that in addition to coins, other items will be falling as well. And from golden eggs. To be precise, mons. Things that can easily break if mishandled. I'm talking about eggs, of course. <laughs> if at any point you accidentally catch an egg in your basket, then your team will be eliminated. That's uh, harsh, you only get one life. At the same time, the number of coins you collect at this moment is your score. Yep. Any interference intentionally with the opposing teams in any way will result in immediate disqualification. Each team member okay. must now grab a basket and head over to the designated area. Oh, I see. Well, like separate. I was wondering, like, if we're in the same area, we're gonna like bump into each other shortly. Trying to catch the same way over the front desk, blah blah. Looks like our paths have finally crossed. Yeah. It would seem so. If we win this, it's on to the semifinals for us, right? Yeah, you're winning. Correct. <sighs> What's wrong? You both seem rather soothing. Because there hasn't been a single case. Coin Rush is managed by Mustang. So everything is in perfect order. Isn't that a good thing? Well, yeah, but... As for me, I'm depressed because I wasn't able to take my supplements earlier. Huh? You're depressed. Then what was it that you took I see. earlier? Supplements. What the... But you just said you were depressed because you couldn't take them. You gotta take uh, all of them. To be precise, I was only able to take 19 pills when I should be taking 20. I dropped one. The supplements.
supplement disappeared. Could this be the case of the mysterious supplement that grew legs and walked off? I think it's going to be a while before they wind down. So I'll just say that I'm looking forward to going up against you. Us too! Good luck! Also... Soda? Yes? For today's match, just do the same thing you did yesterday. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Folk Wang and Novel are trying super hard at this, but my heart really isn't in it. I've never been good with physical activities. Personally, I don't think it's all that bad to do some things half-heartedly. After all, everyone has things they're good at, and things they're not good at, right? Well, it's like some big, uh, big brain play. To be honest, when I was playing as a mole yesterday, I only stuck my head out of the hole once. I actually feel a strange sense of camaraderie with you. Mm. No, I, don't fall for it. I'm sorry, but I really don't understand what you're talking about. Because yeah. I wasn't doing anything half-heartedly yesterday. Oh? Okay, you know, yeah, true. So that's eyes we need to start back and forth tremendously. A bit flustered, so I'm gonna approach your butt. Alright. Set game time! Also, I better get back in it. Maze, first two teams who are going up against each other, please step forward. Ah! It's about to start. We better head to our starting position. Huh? Did I say something wrong? No, you didn't say anything wrong. You should probably head to your standard position as well. All right. The game between Team Volume and Team Novel is over! The team that procured more coins is... None other than... Team Volume! Hmm, looks like Prima Donna is heading to the semi-finals. If we win this, all we'll have to do is beat them, and then we'll be up against 777. Hmm, we ain't winning. Next up! Now we change so we much. We have Team Soda and Team Falkwang! Please step forward! Good luck, everyone! Let's have some fun! You do. Yeah. Come catching soda B. Clang clang. Ching ching. He was quickly wrapping up all the while. We fill our baskets to the brim with coins. Watch out for the exiles. Okay. Fortunately, our team has been able to avoid the eggs. Fortunately, the focus team has also managed to adroitly Yay. dodge all the eggs. Adroit? Yeah, to no surprise. Casey has on the hunt for areas out of view where she can lie down. <laughs> the team is at the defense because the XA is on plane. We've got to push. Alright! Huh? She's not playing? Why? So there's an upcoming riot for you. Mm. Or you. in time to see the egg plummeting from above uh, an egg i've got to avoid it but but i finally put down my basket and pulled soda over to me huh? nice nice catch commander <gasps> it to me i can soda over to me so rapidly the basket she was holding tips over Snap out of it. But... But my basket... If we look so beat, so we've got to give it our all until the very end. <laughs> yeah! Uh, I... Come on, Soda, man. Bonk. <sighs> Dang it! I ended up getting hit by an egg after all! <sighs> Bro. 
a full clank is kind of. It's so sticky. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. You know, sticky eggs I'm and all that. That's game over for Team Popwing. <sighs> Damn. This goes crazy. Look, man, don't worry about what the, the sound was. All right. Do not worry. Can Team Soda last for the times that we need? Bro, is this even like allowed? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But it kind of reminds me of like a lost pose back in the day when you used to do like all the. <laughs> Like, you know, like, uh, like Sakura anime games and stuff like that. Like, that shit goes crazy. This is our chance. As an Sakura big coins, like, our lives depend on it. Are you okay? Hold up, Pratches. Yeah, I'm okay. Great, Scott! This is a major case! The case of Folkwang's fall. I... Detective Novel will uncover the truth behind what transpired. Hmm, let's see. Okay. I believe I've got it figured out. When Soda okay. dropped her basket, it caused the coins that were inside to scatter everywhere. At that very same moment, Folkwing, who was attempting to avoid a falling egg, slipped on a coin and took a tumble. Nah, nah you can't blame to be unable Soda. To avoid the plummeting egg, and end up in the sorry state in which we see her now. Well, what do you think of my hypothesis? No, 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 you chant too much. Hold on. Don't tell me. I caused a mishap. Again? Don't pay her any mind, Soda. She's half right, but she's not completely on the mark. Really? I'm sweating like a pig out here, and so my feet were fairly slippery. In my attempt to avoid the egg, my shoes, which were soaked in sweat, caused me to lose my balance and slip. Mm -hmm. It had nothing to do with your coins. <sighs> it's really sweltering in here. Oh, I see. By the way, Coach and Alice are really busting their humps out there catching coins. Should you be joining them? <gasps> oh my gosh! I forgot we're still in the middle of the game. I gotta go. Wait, but it was like if the egg, if they catch. Oh no, wait. Cause she didn't catch it in the basket. They just like fell on her. <laughs> so I guess that doesn't count. Oof, that was tough. <laughs> I'm afraid we have a bit of a conundrum, folks. Again. What we have here is a tie. <gasps> okay. Hmm, I suppose we don't have much choice. In accordance with the regular set at the beginning, we will take a 30 minute break and then play again. <laughs> oh, jeez. Do the rematch after 40 minutes. Head in the game. Come on, Soda. Lock in. Why is auto disabled, man? Enable that shit. About it being a tie. You're telling me. Then again, I'm happy that we get to do it again. It was super fun running around. We'll win the next round for sure. You bet. Yeah, you know, I wonder how hard this type of game would be in real life, though. Let's hear some words of encouragement from you as well. Um, I've been wondering. Do you both think that I don't have my heart in this? Hmm. Um. What do you mean? Do you think you've been doing your best? I'm not so sure myself. I thought I was putting my best foot forward. But the others keep insisting that I'm not. 
And Nikki and really can still be depressing even in disciple situations. And that's I'm not crazy. Taking this seriously. I didn't think I was. But when I see the others and how hard they're trying, I wonder. They're sweating bullets. They've got their eye on the prize. And they're full of motivation. It makes me wonder whether I even deserve to be here. I don't have the necessary determination to win. Nor the courage to beat the others and claim the prize. Well, as long as you're wearing that bunny suit, you're doing your best. Trust. <sighs> I think it's best if I stop here. Are you serious? Yes. No. Uh, mm, what about Alice's dream then? Care about the prize? It's not that I don't want to win. It's that I'm not capable. I don't want to defeat others. I don't have it in me to win. To me, games are all about having fun. But here, people have to get hurt and be eliminated. I'm just not built for this kind of competition. Huh? Personally, I think it's kind of strange that you say you don't know how to win. The only reason we're here is because we've been winning. Yeah. Th that? That's only because you two have been doing so well. All I've done is drag you both down. What'd you think that? Hmm. I know that you injured yourself during the first game, Master. You're all bandaged up, but you're trying to hide it. What? Did you... You're using your shoulder less, and your clothes are bulkier than before. During the whack-a-mole game, my bizarre hang-ups negatively affected our team's performance. And it ended up being disrespectful to the opposing team. And now, if it hadn't been for me, we would have won and progressed to the next round. First, I spilled my coins everywhere. And then I went over to check on Folkwang in the middle of the game. The reason we were able to tie is because you did your best. You never gave up during the entire round. That's right! There's no way we could have come as far as we have without you. I'm sorry, but that's just not true. I... I can't stand to see you two continue to suffer because of me. It's time that I drop out of this competition. So dumb. You're reading this all wrong. Am I? Yes. Yes, we're going through the round again, but that's not because of you. Because we're exerting every ounce of willpower we have to achieve our goals. That's right. Okay, that's kind of deep, but like, I guess. So I, with all the rabbits. So wait, I want to win so my favorite cafe doesn't go under. <laughs> oh, wait, so that, why are you here? Uh, she, I, she's forgetting. I want to save the maid cafe as well. Yes. What if you could now? And the makeup ends up closing down. Huh? Th that's... Yeah. <sighs> this could be your last chance. Mm. This is your only option. What do you care about more? The other teams here? Or the makeup fair? They matter more than Coconut? No. Absolutely not. They're looking. Those two are my best friends. Exactly. Even though I'm always making mistakes, they've always taken care of me. I could never compare them to anyone else. Ruby told me that Coco and Aid are in the crowd today. Uh, really? They're here right now? Yes. Am I lying? Do you think they came all the way out here to see you give up? Coco. Aid. You won't be going it alone. You'll be with two other teammates. But I don't have any other friends. You yourself mentioned that we had nothing to lose by giving it a try. Didn't you? Y yeah, I did, but... We're sorry to dump all this into your lap. If it's all too overwhelming, you don't have to do it. <sighs> you don't have to do it. I... Hmm... <sighs> Rabbity, it looks like she's really struggling. Maybe we should just... 
I... No. We... I'll do no. it. Yes. Are Head in the sure? game. Yes. Kokoa and Aid believe in me. I won't let them down. I promised them that I would try my best. <gasps> so that's exactly what I'm going to do. At least, I have to prove to them that I really tried. Yes. We're back in the game, baby. <laughs> I'll give it my A game as well. In the game, baby. That's a spread. Even if we lose, let's give them hell. Oh, Alright. In the game B. The second round. Next up, we have the much anticipated rematch between Team Soda and Team Fokwang. Begin! Let's go. No one's signaling in the beginning, blah blah, goes off, and both coins and eggs start falling from above us. I'll take care of this side. So the gaze upwards with a look of steely determination. Starts rapidly filling up her basket. Both teams are performing admirably. However, there is not much time left. And more eggs will be falling as well. So be careful. All the coins and eggs start to fall with increasing speed. No, not me. Not the Giga Chad. No. If it's right behind, now they avoid it. basket looks pretty heavy. Are you okay? We've got enough coins by now. So let's take it easy and focus on avoiding the eggs. Got it. Yeah, true, actually. Hmm. Yeah. They seem in much better shape than they were before. Think we ought to kick things up a notch? Good idea. I'll do my best to hide. <sighs> <laughs> That's it to hide. Huh? Hmm? Oh, she just died. It. My feet got oh. sweaty again. Of course. Oh, my butt hurts. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes, fortunately, I was able to save most of the coins. Hmm. Watch out! Another egg is coming! Soda isn't coming over to check on me this time around. Looks like the competition oh, just got more cutthroat. We don't have time to mess around. Let's go get some more coins. Uh, Roger! Only five seconds remaining. Five, four, three, two, one! Why is blood counting down? I should, uh, I should. That's it! Everyone, please wait here while we assess the result. I saw countdowns that day, said different. For some reason. That was exhausting. <laughs> that face. That's a good one. Sorry, it feels like a limp noodle. That was me after my Ian Lin pulls. Mm. Oh, the other team gathered quite a bit of coin as well. Yeah, you're right. But that's not important. What's important is that we did our best. How are you feeling, Green Bunny? <sighs> I think this is the first time that I've really focused. Concentrating with every fiber of my being. I didn't waver. And I wasn't distracted by thinking about the other teams. I can honestly say... That I did my best. I don't mean for you, I would have gotten bonked by that egg and would have been eliminated. And I would have gotten too excited and ended up dropping my basket while running. If we win this time, it's all thanks to you. You mean... I was able to help both of you? Then... Do you really think we can win? Yes. Huh? You're sparkling again. All right, everyone. 
We have finished tallying up all your coins. Sam begins speaking, everyone becomes silent. We look towards Mustang with nervous anticipation. It took two showdowns to determine the winner, but at long last, we have unresolved that decisive. And the winner is... None other than... I wonder. Uh, Team Soda! Pog! <gasps> Hooray. Both teams delivered remarkable performances. But unfortunately for Team Falkwang, this is the end of the line. And with that, our third game has come to a close. As always, the Eliminate team may choose to stay and spectate or leave the area. With tomorrow's game, we will officially be entering the semi-finals! Team Soda and Team Volume, make sure you're in fighting shape! Until next time, everyone! Have fun and enjoy yourselves! The Mustang... <laughs> Oh boy. Such a good character. Loki. Me too. Should we get some rest? <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. Thanks. Seeing how much the three of you are sweating makes me feel less bummed about losing. Oh, Folkwang. Are you okay? I saw you take another tumble earlier. I'm fine. I think I didn't have as much focus as I should have because I didn't take my supplements. Oh. I see. Yeah. I wanted to go and performance help enhancing you, drugs, but... everyone. They're great. Well, Trust. You no. Know. Sorry. What are you apologizing for? Huh? We're on opposing teams after all, and it was just a little fall. But I could have helped you. Instead, I pretended not to notice. That's the nature of the game. You have no voice. The false one's voice actually sounds like she has like a uh, okay. Southern American accent. Everyone seems to be saying the same thing. <sighs> Hell yeah, brother. It feels like Yeehaw. a thousand degrees in here. Uh, it's too bad that our best wasn't good enough. But at least we had fun. Does it have to soda? What? Do you want to shake my hand? No. Sure, why not? You kicked butt out there and collected the most coins. You've got a keen eye, and you're a natural athlete. M me? Uh, uh, natural athlete? Do you not want to shake my hand because my palms are sweaty? This is starting to get a bit awkward, you know? Oh, no! It's not that. I'd be honored to shake your hand. Sora hurriedly shakes Falkwang's hand. Can I ask you a question? Of course. But could you maybe let go of my hand first? <sighs> I'm sweating like crazy over here. Oh, sure. Anyway, I noticed that Exia wasn't really participating in the game. Does that not bother you two? Hmm? I'm afraid there's an inaccuracy in that statement. Huh? It might look like she's just fooling around. But Exia was definitely playing right along with us. Hey, ease up with the wording, will ya? No one said anything about fooling around. <laughs> you mean she participated with you guys? That's right. Exia's mobility isn't the best. So, if she had attempted to stumble around out in the open collecting coins, she would have gotten plastered with an egg and gotten us eliminated. Therefore, we had her hang out in safe spots, where she would be safe from getting hit. In other words, 
I contributed in my own unique fashion. Crazy. There would have been no point for me to have been running around out there. You've got to play smarter, not harder. Ah, I see. <sighs> anyway, I'm burning up in here. Can I go get some rest? Since we're no longer in the game, I'll be in your corner cheering you on. Same here. Anyway, the new game I've been playing probably has new updates. So I'm gonna go see if I can get on the leaderboards. I'm going to go snooping around for new cases. I can feel one brewing! What new cases? When you say cases, uh, so, for some reason what came to mind was the uh, like CSGO cases. Okay, standard walked for a moment. Should we get something to drink? Sounds good! Let's go! Alright! Hell yeah! Let's go. How to win A. Inside like Rush's drink zone. That was something else for a sec. <laughs> this drink is great. Can I have another one? The big gulp. Be my guest. Thanks. <laughs> I'll go and order some more. Swish. Ask is merely towards the bartender. <sighs> What now? Enough on the drink soda? Huh? Oh no! Wait, why is she acting delicious. up now? Sorry, I was just thinking about something else. What? <sighs> How we've been able to win all the games so far? Everyone has their own ways of playing the game. But we have the best way. Rupee focused on showing her experience to our streaming audience. Milk just wanted to do her best. Exia contributed by not interfering with her other team members. Yeah. And for the first time, I really competed. And we won. That tells me that our prior victories were largely based on luck. The same, that luck is also skill. I know. But that means the competition wasn't balanced to begin with. If Rupee hadn't fallen, or if Mary hadn't gotten stuck in that opening, <laughs> we would I think Mary getting stuck, packing. that was kind of... A little bit of a skill issue, you know? <laughs> it may have seemed like Exia wasn't doing anything. Oh, like, let's say a natural skill issue. She was doing her utmost to contribute in the best way she could. Her team members understood that as well. But me? I kept insisting that my head and heart were in the game. Yet, I kept avoiding it the entire time. Because I'm afraid of competition. Because I didn't want to hurt anyone. <sighs> well, but bad. now I understand. The only way to win this kind of competition is to face your opponent head on and grant them no quarter. Is that something you were able to accept? Okay, yes. I don't think it's that deep, but okay. It's like you said. Protecting the maid cafe takes precedence over everything else. Also, I have you and Alice on my team. That's right. We'll win. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> oh no. So are you okay? Come on, Panther, okay, pull fine. out the I'll admit your Nikkei interaction skills. Everything I did just before was a lie. The whole spiel about wanting to quit and not being 100% invested. I've always wanted to win, and I've never given anything less than my best. Why would I ever do anything less? I don't want to see the maid cafe disappear. Mm -hmm. I don't want to disappoint Coco and Aid either. It's just that this is my first time in a competition like this, and I didn't know what to do. But just because I'm determined to win, doesn't mean leaving others injured is okay with me. I wasn't determined enough. Instead, I guess. all I've done is complain. I'm sorry. That's what I cry and makes me flustered. 
I don't know what to say. Suddenly, Alice approaches and embraces Oda tightly. Alice? <laughs> That's it. Let your tears flow. Whenever I feel like crying, Queen tells me to just let it all out. That way, you can feel some relief. <laughs> Thank you. You want to know something? <laughs> what? When we won today, that was the first time I've seen you truly happy. It, it was? Yes. You should have seen how resplendent you were. You know what that tells resplendent. me? Resplendent. That we should keep doing right. exactly what we're doing. I want to play more with you guys. And I want to keep seeing you shine. Well, so strategy now on how to win. Let's keep it up. Mm. Alright. I won't give up. Let's all do our best together. That's the spirit. I said I hug and comfort Soda. And after a while, tears finally stop. How to win B. So much more. <laughs> Another day dawns in Cornrush. Once again, I feel the warm sunshine, the soft bed, and. Huh? So they're still sleeping? It's quiet, too quiet. I'm gonna get out of bed. Hell yeah. Okay. He's sewing logs, which is not on. The soda of a typical is up by now, it's also fast asleep. Can't help but smile. Uh, rabbity? Well, don't worry, go back to sleep. Hmm? <gasps> Twinkling Bunny is still asleep! She must be tired from all the talking we did last night. We all stayed up pretty late. Okay, I'm sure it all has to do with how she's finally let go of all the attention she was carrying. Yeah. Can't be quiet when we're getting ready. Has to not wake her up. Has to not wake her. I'm so sorry. I Blood's late. And didn't get a chance to clean properly. It's okay. A good night's sleep is good for you. <laughs> What's that? I suppose you're right. I haven't got her one in a while. I do feel a bit more buoyant. Tap. Sort of bounces here and there and ends up bumping into volume. Who's oh. passing by? I'm sorry. Hmm. You all don't seem too nervous about it being the semi-finals. I admire your confidence. If I'm being honest, I didn't think you'd make it this far. Wait, is volume voice actress Snow White? Where does the same voice? I'll be honest, I didn't think you'd make it this far. Honestly, neither. How are you guys winning? <laughs> well, I guess they're performers, kind of. But okay, we'll be volume and them not. We have to compete against 777 in the final match. Just figure out what it puts me on the edge. What do we have on to be edge. About? Not on the edge. We've got a surefire way to win. Something else puts me on the edge, I'll tell you that much. <clears throat> hmm? What do you mean? Did you cheat and get a hint about the next game? Or are you just giving up? No! How dare we'll you? never give up. So please exactly. don't say something like that. Huh? Alright. I get it now. Never give up. Care to fill me in? I'm lost. Looks like we're about to start. Mustang is getting on stage. Let's go get ready. Wait, what's it all mean? Don't worry, Volume Noise and Arya slowly approach the stage. You know, I really like Arya's voice. I think this is the first voice we thing that I've heard from her. Well. Other than like her yeah, gameplay things. Let's go. She does sound hey, pretty nice. Are you gonna keep ignoring me? What did she mean back there? She's probably referring to doing her best without being too concerned about the results. Those who aren't afraid of failure are the people you should be most afraid of. Exactly. There were we're fearless. That they were fighting amongst each other and were going to bow out. 
Nope. I guess there wasn't much truth to that. Hmm. That tells me they didn't get this far on luck alone. We have nothing to worry about. Victory will be ours. Agreed. No. All right, let's go. I do not agree. Hello? Stack up soda. Oh, mon dieu. Yeah, this game was fun. Mon dieu. I can scarcely believe that it is already the semi-finals. Crazy. The team that wins this round will be able to compete against the 777 squad. And if they manage to beat that squad, they'll be able to obtain this key. Now then, since you all have made it this far, perhaps you could all give us a little speech. Could our first team leader volume come to the stage? Each. Sure. Come on, everybody. What's my name? Volume, volume, volume. I knew I could count on my fans to show up for me. Don't worry, everyone. This other team is nothing but a stepping stone on our path to victory. The first man, place you too to much, man. Donna. What's with motion? Volume tosses the microphone into the air and then catches it again. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> It got a resounding cheer from the crowd. <laughs> oh, nicely done, volume! Yeah, crazy. Now, from the opposing team, Soda, please come forward. Uh, oh, what if like, she's okay. gonna be late? Good luck! <laughs> Don't be nervous. Yeah. Um. Hello. I'm Soda. And I work at the maid cafe. I... I promise to do my best. And... Uh, please be sure to visit the maid cafe if you ever have the time. Thank you. Nice advertisement. A nice smile at the end. Nice. Oh, how was I? I felt like an idiot out there. Can I come to the maid cafe sometime? Of course. No. You and Master can come whenever you like. Ooh, it's can I? They certainly look like they're having fun over there. They seem to be getting along like a house on fire. What is this? It's game time and you two are standing here fretting about nothing. We're in the big league now. We've got to focus. It's better than being too nervous, but... Okay! I think it's quite clear that both team leaders have their eyes on the prize. Now, I will explain the rules of the upcoming game. Okay. What's that stentorian voice boom as something starts to sound huh? from the ceiling? Stentorian. What is Whatever that? It, is, it looks strange. These are our stunts wires. They'll be fixed to your shoulders and chest. And once we give the go ahead, you'll be able to float in the air. I assure the image of Soda where that goes crazy. Safe. The bondage. That's insane. No way. As you rise up in the air, gold bars will be given to you all from both sides. They're not terribly heavy, so fret not. So this is a rather long gold bar. Don't tell me. For this game, you will wear the stunt wires and control your movements to ascend into the air and stack gold bars. Naturally, more. these bars are not fashioned from genuine gold, so please resist the urge to pocket them. While there Imagine. is no set time limit, each member of the team must at least put on the harness. 
Once all the gold bars have been given out, we will add up the amount each team has stacked in order to determine the winner. I should mention, however, that stacking bars is not autorisé while you are still ascending. Players must first reach a designate height before they stack any bars. <laughs> okay. Does everyone Makes sense. understand? Yeah, yeah, we got it. Let's get this show on the road. It seems like we have to go kind of high. Seems kind of scary. What order shall we go in? I'm not entirely sure I understand fully, but it seems like a lot of fun. <sighs> yeah. Wait, how did we lose? He didn't say that, I'm did he? I'm not so sure I grasp it entirely myself. But I'll do what I can. Hmm. As the semifinals commence, I find myself worrying about whether my shoulder will give me any trouble. Oh shit. No commander. Let the game begin! Need your Giga Chat powers, man. Who will go first on each team? I'll go! Is this okay. what you wear? Ow! Ow? Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a lot tighter than I thought it'd be. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world. I mean, you're just getting grabbed by like your shoulders and chest. Blah blah, she gets accustomed to it. I didn't really read the whole thing as I strap on the wires. The intense pain nearly renders me speechless. If I bounce up and down in this get up, I'm gonna die. Probably exasperate my shoulder injury. So, well, up I go. No, wait. Let me go now. What? I can see how badly your shoulder is hurting. No, you can't. But if I get out now, I won't, won't have gained any points for us. It's okay. It's true that I decided to join the competition to save something I hold dear to me. But you and Alice are dear to me as well. I don't want either of you to overexert yourselves and end up getting hurt. So, for the sake of you both, I've got to step up. I mean, it's not like my shoulders, like my arm's gonna fall off. I want to toss this all into Soda's lap, but if I insist on doing it, I might end up seriously injuring myself. Sorry if you can do this. Don't you go overdoing it either. <laughs> Don't you worry. I won't overdo it, and I'm gonna win. I'll give it my all. Soda walks over to me and carefully straps <sighs> on the wires. Those was really painful for me. It's not too bad. I'll be back in a minute. Get back in a minute. Having safely strapped herself in, Sora jumps up and soars through the air. Come on, Soda. <sighs> through the use of the sandwich, Soda takes herself to greater and greater heights as she stacks gold bars. Several points, she's so high up that her head nearly hits the ceiling. Wow. wow. She's so amazing. I was only in that thing for a few minutes and it hurt something fierce. I know, that's what I told her not to overdo it. Even from this distance, Soda's exhaustion is clearly visible. Slowly, less and less gold bars fall from the air until the very last one descends. All right, that does it for Team Soda. Team Volume is still in the middle of their game, so we'll have to wait on moment. Zing. So they're taking it out. Soda was now hanging limply from the ceiling. Slowly descends. Wow. Holy moly. God, they actually made the come true. What I was imagining. <laughs> oh my god, Nick is crazy. Wait. God. Why is she making that? Why is she, why is she just hanging out like that? You know what I'm saying? God, don't worry about that noise. Um, mm. <sighs> 
Oh, it's so big. It's crazy. So big. No, it could be one of those things like... Hey soldier, don't look... Anime woman don't last forever. Uh, something else will last forever. Go touch grass. Oh, like what Mr. Pokey did. Ew, you've combed your last comb, my man. Type of thing, right? <laughs> uh, this go crazy, can I'm it? sorry. I've just got to lie down for a minute. That was tough. The wires are so uncomfortable. <sighs> yeah. Um, are you okay? Let's say that's what happened. <clears throat> sure. Sure. I just wanted to stack all the gold bars. I'm, I'm gonna sorry. get banned this crazy. Hmm. Told you to overdo it. I did nothing of the sort. I just did my best. <sighs> Do you think we'll be able to win? To be honest, I lift my head and look at Volume's team. The stack isn't as I expected it to be, but I didn't grab a single bar, so... I'm not sure. Do you think so? I finally found out what I had to do in order to win. It'd be too bad if we ended up losing. Mm. That concludes the game for Team Volume! Good job, everyone! What the? A picture was what kind of sadistic game is this? It's a good thing I stay as fit as I do. I never would have thought dangling from a rope would require so much core strength. I know that they're trying to be safe, but those wires were ridiculously tight. So uncomfortable. I was thinking about incorporating some wire work for my next performance. But now I'm having my doubts about that. Hmm. We're all huffing and puffing after stacking a few bars each. So how did Soda manage to stack that much all on her own? What remarkable She's determination. The goat. Is now really the time to be praising the competition? At any rate, it doesn't matter how well Soda did. I saw Manager give up earlier without stacking a single bar. We're clearly at an advantage. Hmm. Are you sure? They seem pretty exhausted over there. Are you feeling any better, Twinkling Bunny? Yeah. Much better after lying down and getting some rest. <laughs> I feel a bit embarrassed for making such a scene earlier. While all of us are catching our breath, Mustang returns with an air of ceremony to the finals. It's infinite at this okay. point. Okay. As expected of the semi-finals, we have some results that's extraordinary. Without further ado, I will announce the winning team who stacked the most gold bars. It's none other than... Eh. <sighs> <sighs> Huh? Yes. No. I knew it. Oh man, what a bummer. Twinkly Bunny worked so hard for nothing. Yeah, she always tried. Huh? No, I won't hear any of it. You both did everything you could, so it's okay. I gently, seemingly at peace with the results. Thanks to you two. She ate. I have a new... However... Team Value made on grave error. What? Oh, did you put the gold bar where she was moving? What is this? Or ascending and descending. What mistake? Before we began the game, 
I stressed how no gold bars could be stacked while you were ascending. Only once you had ascended to an appropriate height and stopped could the game begin. However, <gasps> volume started stacking the bars as soon as she come out and moving up with the wires. I am right, no? I... I did? Was that really part of the rules? Since when? You did say yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, it was. Mustang mentioned it at the very beginning. Then why the hell didn't you tell me during the game? I tried, but you couldn't hear me. How could I possibly hear you from that high up with you speaking so softly? I thought you were just cheering me on. <laughs> the main point is that you should have listened closely to the rules from the beginning. <sighs> Would you two lay off each other? Therefore, was saying, God damn. The four gold balls at volume lowered while ascending will be considered in Oh, which is those ones. Oh, is that going to be enough? Right? Fine. Four bars shouldn't make a huge difference. With that factored in, the winner ended up winning a reconcilable difference of two bars. Two bars? No, it can't be. Say exact. Team Soda is the winner. Hell yeah. <sighs> I can't believe this. That easy. Complete and utter defeat. Yeah. It's yeah. frustrating, but fair. That's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. We gave it our all, and we were outdone by the other team. It's as simple as that. That's right. <sighs> Screw this. Well, it turns off in a half. And with that, today's game is terminated. You hooray. The eliminate team may choose to stay and spectate or leave the area. As for tomorrow, at this time, in this place, on this very stage, the match final will take place. If you want to own this key, you'll have to come prepared. This goes for both the 777 squad and Team Soda. Maintenance. Eh? Let's all have a good time on our final night here at Coin Rush. Oh, and don't forget. Entertainment! Entertainment. The pain of victory, eh? Master! Alice! Hooray! We... We won. We won! Yahoo! I finally get to see the white and black buddies up close! You both have done that. Heck of a great job. I hope Coco and Abe got to see me. Tomorrow is our last day here. And I already miss them both terribly. I miss Queen too. What are we gonna lose? Let's try and have fun out there. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. You got it. <laughs> I'm sorry for interrupting such a jovial conversation. But I just wanted to say how interesting it was to see you all perform out there. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. I couldn't help but notice that you potentially exacerbated your shoulder injury, Commander. And likewise for you, Soda. I could tell your body was performing abnormally at some point. Oh. Oh. If it's not too much trouble, could you both accompany me to the infirmary? It shouldn't take long. Uh. Okay. Huh? I'll come too! Yeah, why not? Before we have time to fully bask in our victory, we're whisked off by Mary. Well, that was quick. The pain. Hmm. Oh no, are we like dead now? You're quite lucky. Your shoulder hasn't worsened much since I saw you last. 
some worse than much. Ew. If you had gone ahead and partaken in that game, I guarantee your shoulder would have been out of commission for some time. I still have to think for that. That's quite true. However, as a result, so does arm functions have decreased approximately by 16%. It's not a problem. I can oh. go to the repair center later. Well. Right now, I've got to keep my mind on the next game. Are either of you in a lot of pain? Did you get hurt earlier? Oh no. No, no. Not at all. Once I get some rest, I'll be right as rain. Are you sure? Of course. Yeah. At any rate, I know you're both eager to prove yourselves in the finals. But you don't want to end up injuring yourselves out there, right? Yeah. I sure understand. Not to overdo it. I'll be watching you both from the sidelines. All right. Okay. Good. All right. Both of you take this. Huh? What is this? Vitamins and muscle relaxers. All these physical activities must have worn you out, and these will help with the exhaustion. I'll be cheering you both on, so good luck. M Mary! Thank you, Mary! Thanks. Yeah, thanks! Thanks for love, best to keep ourselves safe. I'm glad to hear it. Wait, no, it's actually crazy. 777 is gonna come in like 100%, and we're like barely staying alive after all these days. I don't know how fair that is. Saying back to Mary, we head back to the main hole at the coin hey. rush. Come here for a moment. No, I'm scared. On the way, we're into volume. It seems to be waiting for us. Final match A. Hello. What is this? Hello. You were so confident a while back. And now you're cowering like a mouse. I... I'm not scared. It's just... I tell it. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? You're not apologizing for winning or something stupid like that, are you? N no. Actually, no? to be honest, I saw you stacking the gold bars too early. And I was going to tell you, but I wanted to win. So I didn't say anything on purpose. Huh? And? Huh? She's just rubbing in her face like that. If I had told you, you could have won. Exactly. That's precisely why you didn't say anything. We're not little kids playing during recess here. You and I both know that. If you had made the same mistake, none of us would have said anything either. Because we wanted to win. Oh. I see. Thank you for understanding. It's not about being understanding. This is just how competition works. Anyway, I have to give it to you. You were pretty impressive out there. You think so? Yes. Simply peeved earlier. Huh? Yes, I was. I mean, it's for you. What do you expect? Exactly. I saw how hard you were pushing yourself, but I figured we still had it in the bag since one of you essentially bowed out. Also, I was overconfident and made a stupid mistake. Anyway, you did an incredible job out there. Yeah, she's You're like wearing hurt, socks right? with stockings. I just That's saw interesting. You come from the, at the boot. I don't know. Oh no, we're fine. We just came to get some vitamins. Yeah, then that's good. Anyway, I'm looking forward to the finals. You better win for my sake. Go out there and be a winner. Yes. Volume offers her face to soda. Uh, oh, cautiously bumps her face against the volumes. Good luck. The volume turns and walks away. Soda watches her back, speechless. Dang, we've got a whole bunch of people cheering for us. This is awesome. Damn. I understand 
mind it now. It's not that you hold any animosity towards anyone. It's about wanting to win fair and square. It was never about hurting others. What was I so afraid of all this time? Maybe you're afraid of being hated. Being hated? Maybe. Maybe I just didn't want to get hurt. <laughs> at any rate, I'm at peace with how these things work now. Well, you come to that realization. That's right. <laughs> anyway, since the finals are tomorrow, that means today is our last day at Coin Rush. Oh my gosh, you're right. Oh my gosh. Man, that makes me feel sad. It would be disappointing to leave this place without having explored it more. Why don't we go explore this place a bit? I love that! <laughs> Me too! Let's go. Oh, set up to the second floor. Let's see. I'd like a glass of warm strawberry milk. Alright. Huh? One strawberry milk. And what for did you, sir? you say? A glass of cold water. Glass of cold water. And you? Hmm... I'd like... Two cups of milk coffee. One for me, and one for her. Two cups of milk coffee. Got it. Now you check. I'll have those ready for you shortly. What's up, milk? Milk plops down next what? to soda. Milk? Hey there. Y yes Yo. Why are you acting so scared? <laughs> Did I do something? No, it's not that. It's just... I feel bad. So... Good. You have a lot to be sorry about. What's the big idea? You knew how to play seriously all along. So how come you pulled your punches when you went up against me? Huh? True. I, I was doing my best when I was facing you too. It's just... At the time, I couldn't stand the idea of having to step on someone in order to progress. And has that changed? Yes. Yes. If you want to protect something, sometimes you have to give up something. Hmm. Here are your drinks. Enjoy. Thank you. Cheers. I appreciate you ordering this for me, Milk. Sure. How is it? Mm. It's delicious. Mm. Not too bitter, not too sweet, incredibly smooth. Nice. Anybody who can Bog. appreciate a milk coffee can't be all that bad. I'll be honest with you. I was really struggling with the idea of being bested by you. However, seeing you out there today made me change my mind. You clearly know how to work hard, and you deserve to win. Oh! Next time, you and I ought to have a proper match together. As for now... Hmm? You've got to beat those bunnies. Even if you're pushed to the edge and you feel you've got nothing left to give, you can't give up, you got that? Y yes I understand. Looking. It was nice having a coffee with you. See you around. See you later. My goodness. That was so touching. It's nice that you made up. <laughs> yeah. It's touching a display as that was. Can't but notice milk left without paying. Oh no. Uh. That was delicious. Yeah, that's what weird. We could replay the games we've played in the game zone. I'd love to go and check it out. Sure, that sounds fun. Oh, is that the game zone? Another record. Damn, I'm good. Damn. Oh, you're unstoppable, Exia. Hey, move over. It's my turn now. Groupie wants to play games? Oh, really? hi, sweetie. You startled me. We had a fun time watching you all compete today. This 
especially you, Soda. You killed it out there. This is rupee drop. Totally. Monarch sounds different. It's been a while nowadays. since we've seen someone work up such a sweat. Even from a distance, I could feel how passionate you were. Oh boy. I'm not really sure how to respond to all these compliments. Hmm. Don't? I figured you were taking things seriously before this, but you always seemed to be holding back. Today was the first time I really felt that you gave it everything you had. Such boundless enthusiasm is guaranteed to be a hit amongst viewers. Tomorrow is the final match. People are wondering whether 777's winning streak is about to end. And it's got everyone excited. I also won the bet I had with Dora and Yai. Is anyone up for trying to break my winning streak? Oh right! It was my turn! Actually, while you're all here, do you want to have a try? Sure! Is this the game that we played before? C can I try too? Of course! What I'm saying? Alright, the kid gloves are coming off for this round. Uh, the right one, the way it squeezes against the bar, that, that's crazy. God. I'm just saying. Single is not have much fun, uh, brings a smile to my face. I was going from crying about having no one to participate with her in the competition to being surrounded by friends who support her and lift her up. You know, not end up winning, this entire event would be an incredible, incredibly meaningful experience for her. I was like a corn rush ends with shared laughter and camaraderie. Cool. Yeah, the last scene I was just looking at Rupee, ain't gonna lie. And the golden bunny. That's none of our last time coin rush at Rives. It's also getting kinda late and I'm tired. I also feel a little more sunlight. Grab it like this if you want it to be clean. Let me show you. Like this? Scrub scrub. Son of so that lad is cleaning. Yeah, better look towards the voices. Find the tune and cleaning excited. Morning, gravity? Did Yo. you sleep well? No. Morning, master. We didn't wake you, did we? No, that's fine. Okay. Well, you did, that's but... good. Thanks to Alice bad. helping me out. We're nearly done cleaning. Isn't the whole place nice and shiny? Yeah, it's immaculate. Well, what a compliment. You know, it's not I like this is a hotel room or anything. You, Alice. Aren't you too nervous? Nervous? No. About what? We will win. Oh. Because today is our final match? <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. But having a nice cleaning session with Alice made me feel way less anxious. Yeah, me too. Cleaning session. On top of that, we received a lot of encouragement yesterday. Besides, being nervous won't change anything. All I can do is put my trust in both of you. And have faith in myself that I'll do my best. Yes. Come on, long way, Soda. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you say we get this final match over and done with? All right. Okay. Let's go. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Hello, everybody. Hello. Today is. The final match you have all been waiting for! Will the 777 squad's victory streak in there? Or will their undefeated march continue unabated? To answer that question, let's first present there the two teams who will be comprising this main event. First up, we have Team Soda! Soda. Soda, soda, soda. Soda, soda. What? That's what I'm saying. All those people are shouting my name. I don't know to the end. It's so natural that you're popular with the crowd. You're amazing. Th thank you. And for the other team, we have last year's Tetra Golden Chip Showdown winner. <laughs> It's the 777 Squad! Long, no 
Noir. Brass who trousers are so hot. That's crazy. They're incredibly popular. Hello, everyone. Even though it's only been a few days, we missed you all so much. Hello, everyone. My fashion sounds different Thank nowadays. Thank you for your support. We'll be sure not to disappoint you. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's a oh my gosh. They're even more breathtaking up close. We've got to win first place so that I can get a picture with them. We will. Yes. We've got to win so that I can save the maid cafe. Yes. We have to. Now, permit them all to introduce the final game. Once I stamp his fingers, and three long ropes start descending from the ceiling. Ropes? Anxiously wait for Mustang's explanation, desperately hoping that the game won't be too physically demanding. This game is yeah, definitely simple. not at all. At the top of the ropes, there is a key which unlocks the display. Whoever climbs up the rope and obtains the key first is the winner. However, Climbing up an ordinary rope wouldn't be any fun, would it? Therefore, the ropes have been slathered with some slippery material at certain segments. <laughs> mm -hmm. One error, and you may slip and fall. As a result, this is a trade difficult game that will require both endurance and mental fortitude. I have a question. Will all three team members be climbing up together? Nope. No. Each team will select one member to climb the rope. You cannot switch team members midway. So think hard about who you will choose. One person has to climb all the way up. It's Interesting. Awfully high up. Oh boy. I'm so lucky. How do you figure? You've still got pain ah. in your shoulder. And climbing up that high won't be easy for Alice. So I'll do it. But you carried us in the last game. Aren't you still tired? I may push yourself too far with this. Master, you know as well as I do, there's no way you can climb to the top. Yeah. Not in your condition. True. And you, Alice. Do you think you can slink up that entire rope? Keep in mind that there are slink? several slippery sections. Hmm. I'm not sure. Exactly. I'm confident that I can do this. I can make it to the top. I know it. Okay. Twinkling bunny. And besides, I'm still the team leader. This is my responsibility. So please, let me do this. Team leader Giga Chad. So does this are brimming with determination. Sounds like you made up your mind. We'll do as you say. Just don't get hurt. Winning isn't everything. I'm happy with getting a photo of me and you two instead. So <laughs> please, don't hurt yourself. I won't. All right. It looks like Soda and Blanc are the ones who have been chosen. Hello, Blanc. I know I still have plenty to learn, but I'm in this to win it. I'm looking forward to competing with you. Me too, Soda. By the way, you look happy. <laughs> I am. It's a good feeling when people trust and care about you. You bet it is. We're in for a tough challenge with this game. If each of you could please grab the rope. Ready? Set. Go! Musang signal. The two Nikes rapidly start clambering up the ropes. Okay. Oh, clamber B. Oh, where are we? You're pretty good. Climbing ropes and poles is part of my profession, so I'm used to it. I imagine this must be a bit tougher for you, though. Sure. <sighs> 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 
Yes, it's not easy. Especially only 84% arms. to myself and others that I'd reach the top no matter what. So I'm going to reach the top at the exact same moment. Initiating a standoff with the key between them. <sighs> I've been meaning to ask you something. If you win, what are you going to ask the boss for? I was going to ask him to save the maid cafe. I see. So that's why you've been pushing yourself so hard. To be honest, I don't really have a wish that I want to make. You need this victory way more than I do. <sighs> Are you trying to provoke me? You could say that. <sighs> okay, and do what? For someone who says they don't care that much, how come you're trying so hard? Nothing you say will provoke me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> To glare intently at each other and then leap for the kill at the exact same moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The key jostles in between both of their hands, flies away. <laughs> Proceeds to fall straight to the ground. The key fell down. What do we do now? Oh, so those are the gone. Hey, wait! <laughs> uh, It's been a while since Blanca saw that climbed up to the top. There's still no sign of them coming down. What could be happening up there? Twinkling bunny. Hmm. Suddenly. Blank. Golden key tumbles down from above. Every same moment saw the starts rippling down the rope at incredible speed. Hey, wait! Nope. The rope will be slippery! Oh. Nope. I don't know what else to do. Desperately starts sliding down the same rope, so that's going down. She glides down the rope at top speed, so that's pretty reaches for a key. I can reach it. Soda, if you don't stop now, you'll be in danger. You're going too fast. Blanc, get yourself tangled in the rope to slow down. Uh, no war. I'll be there at the bottom to catch you. Hurry! Alright! Makes a move and... Ah! Bruh, they need to chill, but... They, they ain't playing. They, they, they ain't playing. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. How about you? I'm fine, thanks to you. Soda, are you okay? I yes, I'm okay. <sighs> I'm glad. Turn one of our fists, which is tightly clenched. Hmm? Slowly opens it. Where's the key? Forget about the key. Can someone come and untie us? I'll help. Me too. The members approach and start untying the tangled rope. Finally, I'm free. Thanks, everyone. Th thank you. That brings our final game to a close. Yeah, but who won the teams did a stupid. Job. <laughs> Although the last part was a bit chaotic, Connor's competition ended without any injuries. Nice. Termination, effort, and desperation. Soda and Blanc, come forward. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Neither of you were able to recuperate the key, correct? Unfortunately, no. That's right. No, my mom. We would proceed with a rematch. Soda. Yes? In order to try and obtain the key, 
You put yourself and others at grand risks. Would you agree? Yes, I agree. Why, may I ask, did you act so recklessly? So went in there. Because I was desperate. I was so consumed by the desire to grab the key that I didn't fully realize how much danger I was putting myself and everyone else in. I... I'm really sorry. Fortunately, no one was injured. However, it is true that what you did was inexcusable, ma. Therefore, Team Soda will be disqualified. <laughs> I understand. Soda. However, your what? determination, <laughs> effort, and desperation were admirable. Huh? So, do not let this discourage you. I'm confident you have a brilliant future ahead of you. And I thank you sincerely for treating us to such a remarkable match. <sighs> Thank you for saying that. With that being said, the winning team this year is... The 777 Squad once again! Unlucky. Oh, Blanc, could we hear a few words from you? Sure. Hmm... I must admit that it was through sheer luck that we won this year, which makes me uneasy. In terms of determination, effort, and desire, Soda beat us hands down. I'm looking okay. forward to having a proper match with her in the future. I got Soda just poking the whole time. As am I. Thank you. So that seems slightly taken aback. He reaches out and shakes Blanc's, Blanc's hand. Hold up. Marvellous! What a beautiful ending! All right then. I believe we can conclude the event. D just a moment, if you would, boss. I have a favor to ask. From who? Something crawling into Mustang's ear. Oh! Now that would truly be the perfect ending. Okay. Splendid! Driving some Before business towards the make cafe? Things up, I shall grant soda on petit pavillon and proceed with a photo opportunity ah. with the bunny girl. I see. If all the bunny girls could please come up. Uh, Rabbity. I. I. Going up. Yahoo! We'll be right back. Nice. May I join? Now, why is Soda acting like this now? Yeah. <clears throat> what? What was that noise? Mm -hmm. Of course. Okay. Should we right, get a peak, little closer? Oh, it's hot squished together like this. Sorry to make you uncomfortable. That's so dumb, man. Shame <laughs> it's play. Okay. It's worth it for a commemorative photo. Wasn't this something you had been wanting for a while, Alice? You bet it was. This was what I was gonna wish for if we won. Thank you all for helping make this happen. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy. Do you see that, Lupins? I'm here with all the bunny girls from Coin Rush. Aren't they all so pretty? To everyone in the audience, feel free to take photos as well. 
All right, everyone. <laughs> Look over in that direction. One, two, three. No, counting up I can handle, but counting down I don't know. It just is different. Leak. So the squad came on top of it yet again. Might not be disqualified. However, I'm so happy. I totally feel like a winner. <laughs> Looks even happier than the victorious Seven Seven Squad. Was one heck of a finale. For real. Don't let that whole disqualified business get you down. What matters is that you never give up. Absolutely. Who is milk? There's no way I could have Snow been able White to go as, as well. As you did. I said it's on the same. Oh, you've got some real physical strength. How about you and I work up a sweat sometime? You're not even moving around anymore, and you're still sweating. <laughs> anyway. True. You're officially invited to my next concert. So be sure to come and check it out. No. <laughs> okay. I'm busy. Thank you, everyone, for the encouragement. How's your arm doing, Soda? I presume you can barely lift it up now. Uh, that's what I thought. You should come to the hospital tomorrow. Oh. Okay. Understood. Hey, what are you two talking about? Let us in on the conversation. So that's being showered with love and attention from everyone. There wasn't a single moment through this entire experience where we didn't give it our all and we've grown a lot because of it. To knowing this that we're all able to leave this place with smiles on our faces. But the writing needs to move a little bit faster, you know what I'm saying? I can read faster than it's, it's so going. hard saying goodbye to everyone. Kinda of messes me up. You did well. <laughs> you flatter me. Everyone said so many nice things to me. I can't believe it. Oh boy. I didn't realize how late in the day it was. We should probably head back. Oh boy. So that abruptly brushes past us and I avoiding eye contact as she does so. She's oddly eager to leave. So that wait. Yes? Look at me. Sora looks up at me. I can see that her eyes are welling up with tears. We've come by silent sadness and leaning closer. Master? Or something. That's what they said, right? I did magnificently. Thanks. I should be the one thanking you. Thank you so much, Twinkling Bunny. I had the time of my life playing with you. And I'll never forget that photo we took together. No. Really? You two deserve more. More praise than... Oh gosh. Um, uh, uh, twinkling bunny. Yeah. I did my best, but it wasn't good enough. Mm -hmm. We even got disqualified. I thought for sure... I had grabbed the key. If only I had reached a little further, things might have been different. No, that's not it. Rather, I shouldn't have pushed myself so hard. Mm. We would have at least had a chance. <laughs> now what are we gonna do? Is the maid cafe going to have to close down? Don't worry, Soda. We'll do whatever we can to help. Queen and I will visit you all the time. And we'll order bunches and bunches of food. Sure, if we can Sam, don't worry. Okay. You two are so nice. Long time while she sobs. Only when it becomes dark, is she able to calm down. Must be so swollen. Feeling better now? <laughs> yeah. I think I got it all out. Thank you again. Nice. Both of you. 
Even though we didn't right, win, when people start crying, it's so awkward, right? I think we gained so much more. Me too! I got a photo! And I've got you to thank for that! <laughs> it was my pleasure. pleasure. Oh, right! Twinkling Bunny! You mentioned that your friends were here. Are they also rabbits? Huh? <laughs> my friends? Yeah! If they're rabbits, I'd love to get a photo with them. Mm, not quiet. Oh, do you mean Cocoa and Nade? Well, Cocoa and Nade are in the crowd today. <gasps> really? They're here right now? And they came all the way out here to see Cocoa. Gibo. Nade. This is bad. I'm going to be exposed for the lie I told to keep Soda said in the game. Unfortunately, they're yeah. not rabbits. And they're not here right now anyway. Hmm? Oh, really? But Rabbity said... I'm sure that they're here in spirit. Did you know? Of course. I knew everyone would be too busy working at the cafe to come see me play here. I will admit that I did look around the crowd once or twice just to be sure. Needless to say, they weren't there. Or I lied to you. No, no. It's okay. You said all that, and it made me understand the reason why I came here. Understand what was precious to me. I'm very thankful for what you did. I'm glad. Well, should we head back? Yeah. Lonely by now. I can't wait to tell her everything that happened. I'm sure she'll enjoy hearing you recount it. What? Uh, oh, I fell. My exhaustion. Okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Let's go, everyone. Which one you just fell and all three of us hold hands and hand out the coin rush? Clear minds and happy hearts. The end. The makeup is back in business. This is terrible. What? What am I going to say to them? Sorry, but I lost. What's the next step for the cafe? No, that's too cavalier. The cafe could really end up closing. I'm so sorry. Because of me, everything is over. No, that's too negative. Oh gosh. I've got to get a hold of myself. Sitting here beating myself up won't solve anything. If we have to start from scratch, then so be it. Yeah, just we'll just go back and work on it. forth and do our best. Yes. Huh? Why are there so many people in front of the cafe? We're not even open yet. Well, you did tell everyone to hey, go to the cafe. Isn't that Soda? From She's famous. Event? That's You're crazy. Right. Her outfit is different, but her face is a dead ringer. Well, this is the maid cafe after all. So it makes sense for her to be in a maid outfit. <laughs> That's my huh? voice actor. Just a moment. Uh, I'm coming. Not doing the accent. That's crazy. Because even without the fake accent, you still hear it. This was who I was telling you about. Twinkling Bunny. Well, she's not a rabbit anymore, so maybe I should just call her Twinkling? I see. Twinkling Bunny? To thank her for showing you such a lovely time these past few days. I'm willing to spend some money on this place. God, Ludmilla talking. Order whatever you want to eat today. Woohoo! Thank you! Yes. Is going on out there? Soda! There you are! Oh, hey, Soda! Hey! Uh, Cocoa! Aid! I have something to tell you. Just a second! Before you say anything, there's something I want to ask. What is it? What on earth did you do during that event? 
Huh? Ever since the event ended yesterday, things have been really weird around here. Wh what do you mean? I tried my best. I may not have won in the end, but is that really such a big deal? Oh man, I knew it. We're gonna have to close the cafe, aren't we? We don't care about whether you won or not. Huh? Then what are you talking about? Ugh. There are too many darn customers. We've been getting about 20 times the usual number of customers, and we Crazy. keep running out of ingredients. I've been sending out dishes as fast as I can, but I haven't made a dent in the amount of people waiting. Also, everyone's been asking about you and when you'll come in. <gasps> Do you mean all those people outside? Are here to see you, apparently. I don't know what in the world you did during that event, but you certainly made an impression. Very impressive. Truly befitting a professional maid. How do yes. you fit here? Thanks to all these customers who came looking for you, our sales have skyrocketed. If this keeps up even for just the next few weeks, we won't have to worry about closing anytime soon. We know it might be tough for you to greet each and every customer out there. But we'll do our best to provide support. Nicely done, Soda. You're the best. You're the <sighs> best. I... <gasps> I'm so happy. I was worried that the cafe might really disappear. <laughs> Master told us all about how cool you were during the event. And how hard you worked. He also volunteered to help us out financially if we needed it. <laughs> okay, Commander Stacked. I never knew that there were so many good people in the world. It's enough to make me emotional. It's only because you're such a wonderful person. That's right. Exactly. Anyway, now's not the time to be crying. Get to work. We're about to open. You don't want to greet everyone out there with bloodshot eyes, do you? <laughs> no. We all want the best for the maid cafe, right? We'll start now. We can do this, right? <laughs> yes. We're all professional maids here. So let's kick some butt today. Welcome. Welcome. <sighs> Welcome, Master. Thank you for visiting the Maid Cafe. Yep. And there it is, the end. Bruh, that was peak Nikkei, man. The screenshots. They went crazy. Alright, that went for a while, though, god damn. What the fuck? <clears throat> that was nice, I like that. And now we're probably gonna go back to like some more chill events, but what can you do? You're still gonna be sick. But yeah, this was really good. That was fun. That was... Entertainment. And yeah. It's pretty cool. Not bad. Very fun. But I need to go sleep. I am dead. Cool. But yes. That'll be about it. The bunny girl event. Golden coin rush. Pretty cool. I guess I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.